Come on. There we go. Ha ha. We are live. Hello, everybody. His Royal Fan is here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. It's been, what, two weeks? But the good news is I finished up my semester at university. Now I'm just waiting to get my grades back to see if I passed all my classes. Probably did. Uh, and if I did, I graduate. So, yay. All that intense stuff out of the way which makes me happy. Now I just have to find a job in this current job market. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, yeah, oh, on the other hand, uh, by the way, if the audio sounds off, I apologize. Uh, my Elgato software application, for some reason, deleted all of my audio inputs. And I basically, since I put the stream preview up, I've been trying to fix it and re <laughs> readjust all my audio settings. So if it sounds a bit off, please do let me know in the chat so I can at least reference back and try and fix it before the next stream. If it sounds good, perfect. Anyways, congratulations, Drift. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyways, hello to everybody in chat. We got Bob, Amine, <laughs> Amine, uh, Rattel, Tricky, Lewis, Dan, Curious, Martin, uh, Sean. We got N Nimir, Ominous. Shymek, uh, Vengist. What's up? Iron Man, good to see you. Helmy, great to see you as well. Dev, uh, Juan as well. Welcome, welcome. Great to have you in the chat as always. And thank you for joining us on this lovely Sunday afternoon for hopefully an entertaining stream. I have not played Blitz Pubs since my last live stream. So that should be interesting. And oh, I have not played a single game in this tank. See, zero battles. I haven't, I haven't tried it. This is going to be a first impression showcase, okay? Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to like it or not. It's I, it's probably quite different from when it was tested. And I only played a few games when it was tested back in the day. So we will see. But uh, the XM66F, I'm just going to refer to it as the XM because that's easier, is the current Christmas snow globe vehicle. If you want to try your luck gambling away to get it. Uh, I tried to get a couple on my account a few days ago. I got scammed. I got a Hawk 30 and a V4, which I already had. So I was like, dang, that sucks. But uh, yeah, expensive vehicle to get probably. Overall looks pretty good. So why don't we just jump into it quickly, look through the statistics, and then we'll just get straight to the gameplay because, you know, that's what you guys are really here for. Anyone can look at the stats of the vehicle. So emergency tracks. This is cool. The mechanism, it has the ability when tracked to continue reversing in four kilometers an hour. I actually just now figured that out. I had no clue I had that. <laughs> like I said, this is, a, this is a raw first impression. I just now noticed that when I was looking through the settings. 1900 hit points with my current equipment loadout. Pretty good frontal armor, especially on the turret, which is nice and rounded. There are some weak spots you have to watch out for, but overall, the armor looks pretty solid on the turret. The hull looks fairly weak, but I mean, it's more of a haul down vehicle. And the turret's like the biggest part in the front of the tank. So as long as your turret's decently armored, I don't think you have to worry too much. Uh, average V-range for a TD, average camo for a TD, 3,563 damage per minute, and that is if you are choosing to run Rammer, which should be fine. You have 270 millimeters of AP pen and 340 on the heat pen, so that's roughly enough pen for most scenarios. If an E100 is angling, you might struggle to pen the turret a little bit there, but I think I'm going to take the DPM route because a 6.9 second reload is pretty saucy, especially when you have 410 alpha damage. So 410 alpha, 6.9 reload, 3,563 damage per minute with a turreted tank destroyer that has a decent amount of frontal turret armor. Looks like a pretty good combo. What about the mobility and gun depression? So as far as gun depression is concerned, you have 10 degrees going down and your turret can traverse 45 degrees to the left and right. So it's not fully traversable, but even a little bit of turret traverse can help a lot compared to most TDs. 40 top speed going forward, 20 in reverse. 20 is really good, actually. That means you can uh, you can get out of scenarios pretty quickly, which is always saucy. 20 reverse speed. I mean, having your reverse speed half as fast as your forward top speed is pretty nice. And uh, 15 powered away. Eh, it is what it is. Traverse speed looks okay. 41 on the hull, 24 on the turret. It's, a, it's not really a full turret, so I think that's good enough. And yeah, that's basically your statistics on the tank. Basically, that's it. So average TD hit points looks like a pretty decent frontal armor profile. I'm not sure about the hull. It is a 150. You know, it is pretty well angled. So actually, maybe you'll get some decent bounces on the hull. I think there's a weak spot on the left side of this mantlet. You can see this flat portion where there's a the viewport on top of it. I believe that is a weak spot. Some of the hatches and I think some of the flatter areas along next to the gun mantlet are also weak spots along the turret. Something to be aware of. But let's jump into some gameplay. This is my legitimate 
first experience with the vehicle since it was placed into the auction. And hopefully it'll be a good one. I didn't get the XM, so I deleted Blitz. Understandable. Have a nice day. As it struggles with, it struggles with premium shells. Yeah. All right. Congrats on finishing school finals. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Final adult instead of an overgrown man child. Yay. Finally, an adult instead of an overgrown man child. Wow. You, were, you think I was a man child before I graduated? Shaking my head. Oh, gosh. So that's a platoon of 752s. Not exactly what I want to be facing necessarily. And we're just going to hop into it. All right. So 752s, which have really good heat pen. Those are annoying little seal clubbing tier 9 tanks. Uh, as far as get up... Yeah, it's, it's a bit slow in the acceleration, but once you get cruising, it kind of just chills at 40 kilometers an hour. I can definitely see the traverse speed not the highest, but I, I wasn't expecting it to have like an insane S tier amount of traverse speed. So this is sufficient, I think, for a lot of scenarios. Now, my primary concern here, actually, and what I'm going to end up doing is we're going to relocate into town here because, as you can see, oopsie, turn my audio all the way down. I didn't want to do that. Um... As you can see, the enemy team are taking A, so they're going to have free crossfires on our spawn soon, and I don't want to get stuck in that. So I'm going to pull on out over to this side of the map. Maybe we can help our VK90 here go hold down to the middle, something along those lines. I don't usually play this position, but I am genuinely curious if I can play the XM here. So I think that's what we're going to do. All right, so 752 is over here. All right, he's angling his turret up. Unfortunately, that one misses. And it looks like he's getting a little bit eager to try and shoot at my saucy new vehicle here. But uh, that's not that's not working out so well for him or his buddy. So another quick shell towards the hatch. That's the 752 turret armor for you. We do get a ricochet. And you know what? Yeah, this reverse speed is pretty solid. Another shell into this man's at least. So we finally get a little bit of damage out here. We're doing a pretty good job farming up these 752s and stuff. So I think I'm going to actually start applying a little bit more pressure here to this 752 in the yo. Unfortunately, that shot misses there. 752 is definitely going to make a bit of a break for it here, which he has to. DPM feels pretty solid. Not... I mean, it's good. It, it's good DPM. Maybe not, like, the most exceptional exceptional DPM for a uh, tier 10 TD. I mean, you have tanks like the Badger with 30, like, 3800 or something. And you have tanks like the... Um, the Object 263 with 3800. But, you know what? This one does the job pretty well. I think what we're going to do end up doing here is I really don't want to get stuck in a position where this 183 can just free farm me. There's the 752. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, never mind. It's not going to hurt. Oh, that dude's still trying to shoot at me. That's adorable. I think this yak can probably overmatch me. There you go. He shoots AP through the lower plate there. So that was just a bit of a misposition on my part. And now we have a wild Progetto kind of pushing in on us here. So that's not good. I'm, I'm probably dead to him or the 752 here. Yeah. Yeah, that's not much I can do about it. I'm not really sure what the allies are doing. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed up there. Um, okay. At least kill the 752, buddy. There you go. You got one more shot. Go for it. Oh, that was a good try. That was a good try. 183, can I one? I probably should have just stayed back. Honestly, I didn't think the 183 was going to poke because I kind of thought my allies were going to be pushing up through the middle and through their spawn. But they ended up not. They all just decided to sit here. So that was that was a rip. I shouldn't have pushed up there. I, I thought they were pushing through behind. That's why I pushed over. <laughs> but I was like, oh, nope. That was a rip. Uh, and so I got myself stuck in a crossfire there. Tank feels okay. Pretty solid. The armor, I don't know. The armor was decent on the turret, I think. But okay, yeah. You can see where the Yag pens me. The Yag pens me with an AP shell straight through the front of the gun. You can see right there, right below on the on the lower right side of my mantlet, there is a penetration straight through it. So that's where the Yag pens me. I was like, I definitely did, wasn't giving him a lower plate shot there. That was, I think, from one of the other tanks that shot me earlier. And so that's just one thing you'll have to kind of accept about this tank is that is it does have a bit of a... a bit of a wonky armor profile. For the most part, it's pretty good. But those frontal weak spots on the turret especially in that mantlet area, I think can get really annoying pretty fast. So, ah, that wasn't the best game. We'll do, we'll do, yeah, we'll do another one. They, they, had a, they had a sweaty platoon of 752s, and then no one on my team kind of washed over our flank, which was a rip. XM66. <laughs> XM has a big butt. It, it is an, o, an Omega thick tank, but he's been having way too many hamburgers. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's give it another try. Let's give it another try. Let's think what I want to do here. I, I Obviously, this is more of a first impression, so I'm trying to get used to the vehicle as well and try and figure out what playstyle will be working best for it. Usually, it shouldn't take longer than a few games to kind of figure out a tank's abilities, but 
I'm not jumping into this with like 100 games of experience like, yeah, man, this is how you play the tank exactly. The accuracy feels okay. Dispersion's fine. And you know what? Actually, yeah, its mobility is actually not that bad. Okay. All right, so we hit the snapshot there, but unfortunately it did not fully pen. That Chieftain Mark VI could be a bit of a nuisance over there. That's why I'm not a huge fan of this side of the map. It's because you can kind of get trapped. On the other hand, it does look like the enemy team has split their forces just a wee bit here. I don't know if the Sea Wonder is going to push forward, if the XM is going to push forward. Looks like the Chieftain and Bash off the Yawn both went to that side. And I have no shots on anyone from back here. Okay, our 268 is holding for now. Maybe 100 is kind of yellowing in. I wonder if I can help him out. This is a bit risky. If he was able to cross for free, then they probably don't have too many crossfires from back there. I take it back. Nope, they're home. Oh, and of course, their chieftain's there. Yeah. Oh, boy. This is why I absolutely despise vineyards from this spawn. It is really, really bad from this spawn because you lose so much map control instantly. There's nothing you can do about it, sadly. I wanted... I kind of surprised no one shot our E100 because he just crossed in the old... He, like, crossed straight through the middle. No one shot at him. That's crazy. All right. This is not going to be a good game, boys. Not with that Hori there either. Hori and Chieftain are both going to be a bit problematic here. Let's see. I'm just going to sit back and do my best to stay alive here. But yeah, this is going to be one of those just El Bozo battles, I think. All right. So we got the Chieftain pushing up here. At least we got a shell into him. That's clutch. Um, we also have an XM pushing in on our, on our side here. Let's kill the KPZ at least. There we go. That's pretty clutch. And this XM is just yellowing through here. Okay, E100, do you mind not pushing me, buddy? Dude, what is this E100's problem? <laughs> Buddy's just pushing me out, so I can't even, like, <laughs> prioritize getting into my position to shoot anyone. I couldn't traverse to pick up a shot into that XM there. All right. Chieftain making a very questionable poke here, but I'm probably dead to him regardless. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I hate vineyards, man. I hate this map so much on this spawn. There's like really nothing you can do. I probably could have gone town, but I, I wanted I wanted to go mid to try and keep those crossfires, but then I don't know. Did we have any meds? We did have a medium, but he didn't really do a good job on the medium side of the map there. Kind of holding there with the 268. I probably should have just gone ACAP myself. Another sweaty purple platoon. Ay ay ay. I don't know. Um XM feels I like where was the chieftain penning me look at that front of the mantlet looks like he probably penned me through the front of the mantlet twice there I don't see any pen marks on my lower plate so the chieftain was just penning the front of the mantlet yeah hmm I don't know how I feel about this armor profile man nice hori nice job blocking your ally ramming into him oh please I hope the hori doesn't get a shot in here kill, kill him batchak get the kill batchak oh no the batchak got killed what is this Nah, this this hoary is something else, man. Come on, XM, get, get the kill, XM, get the kill. I believe in you, XM, get it, get it, XM. No, oh, <laughs> what is that hoary doing? Blood out here, like blocking his ally. Ay ay ay. That was um, that was uh, yeah, fantastic first game in this deck. Our 60 TP played well. Okay, so. I don't even know if armor is helping at all. I thought maybe it would. Maybe 2,000 hit points would be a lot better. Uh, okay. I think the pen's fine for the most part. Uh, maybe I'll try running HP instead. I honestly... I don't think... I honestly don't know if armor is going to help that much in this case. Because, like, everyone's still just penning it straight through the mantlet with, with premium rounds. And even AP and TD, so... Um... <clears throat> so first impression of this tank, not very saucy. This is why I really didn't try too hard to get it, as I didn't think this would be my personal type of playstyle. It's it's pretty slow. It relies a ton on the armor profile that's flawed, but it does have a good gun. So I mean, you know, there are there are certain pluses to this vehicle. I was hoping I could play it kind of like a pseudo heavy support tank, but judging by this tank's ginormous size and the fact that it seems to just get penned very easily i think i maybe i have to be a little bit more passive in this tank so i don't get wrecked as much in it but that that game was just a bit of a bruh positioning i honestly think you should really never go town on vineyards you get crossfired out and like most of my team went town and that's why they just kind of like sat there and blood out 
If you can control mid and ruins, it's a much stronger position to make a counter play versus just kind of all sitting there in town and getting farmed out. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go help on the windmill here. I'm a little too slow, I think, to take the... Oh my gosh, there's no one going to take the hill. I don't think anyone on my team is taking the hill yet, dude. I'll take some blind shots, because why not? Um, yeah, my... Dude, what is my team doing? Not a single... Our Sheridan spawn sniping. Okay, that's that's amazing. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Pull forward, pull forward or backwards. Just a little bit more there, buddy. There we go. Quick shot into this dude. I don't know if the type might have proxied me there. He did. Really? Okay, so I'm getting shot from that corner now. So they have a medium sitting in the back of their spawn? They actually do. That's crazy. Or 200 LT sitting back there somewhere. Interesting. Hey, yay, yay. What is my team doing here, man? At least their Yag is throwing his HP away. That's an object 84. Okay, good to know. So that's why we're shooting at me. I think I'm just gonna hold here. Man, I don't I don't I don't really like how I feel super restricted and how I can play this tank. If I was sniping right now, I'd be doing okay with the other. With the other Pepega Andes over there sniping. The problem is this type's gonna keep proxying me. This is a very boring game, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think this is what we can expect from this type of vehicle. Aha, uh -huh. sure. Alright, come on, hit those. Oh, that shot still went so high. That could have easily missed on another day. Alright, there we go. So that. 410 Alpha, really? This is, this is apparently 410 Alpha, guys. Okay, there we go. I think we've rolled like 300 for three shots in a row there. Alright. We're doing okay. This is the, the most in, intense XM gameplay you've ever seen. Okay, wow. Oh, look where he penned the turret ring. Yeah, because he was really aiming there, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. So... Come on, boys. Let's kill the Object 84 out here. I'm spotted for like 20 seconds thanks to his abilities. Okay, come on. Get back up. Come on. Back up there a little bit, dude. I hate sniping. Oh, and this dude just killed. <laughs> this dude just died. All right. Finally, my allies are making a play here. Let's go. This is this is the most intense gameplay ever. Love, cam love, cam love me some Campstia gameplay. And Sheridan is... I see the problem is I can't push with the 183 there, and the object's gonna try shooting me in the rear if I push over and hug the rock. You can hug the rock usually. Oh. Well. In that case. There we go. Making this dude a one shot. That's pretty clutch, I think. I think the 183's on reload. So let's put another shell into the 183 here. Watch him, like, blind fire pen me. That would be insane. All right, another shot. Nice. 390. Okay, another sub 400 roll. You hate to see it. Okay. Well, we know where the 183's position is. I think it's about time we, do we done did some trolling on the Type 71 over here. We should be safe from the 183. And, okay, so that's where the tortoise is located. That's, that's good to know. Now the 183's just looking for me. Oh boy, I cannot out DPM a tortoise here. Oh, come on. G get the 183 already, someone, please. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna hope the 183 is not looking at me. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, this tank is uh, something special, ain't it? Mm hmm. Okay, do I got crossfire support? I, I should have some. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I think if I angle my upper plate like so, it should be pretty much an auto ricochet angle. We will see. That one probably went in. I don't know if it penned though. He's definitely still there. Nice shirt and spot him up. My mans. My mans. Yeah, that's right. Spot him up, buddy. Nice. There we go. Quick shot to this man's here. Good stuff. We'll keep farming out the type if at all possible. All right, there we go. Nice little hat shot. Okay, we're at 5,000 damage, so we're doing okay. Slow game. 
really slow game, but I'll take it. Okay, I think we did okay, guys. I think, honestly, we didn't do too bad. Let's just be ready to back up, because this dude can probably hatch snipe me pretty easily. Knowing my luck in this tank, he could probably hatch snipe me pretty easily here. Let's see. Get the girls going for a flank. You know what? Do we just yellow for the damages? Let's let's yellow for the damages. Okay, so where was the tortoise penning me? Tortoise, yeah, full lower plate shots. Not surprised that that tortoise is penning me there. Okay, this type's on a long reload for a few seconds here. So lower plate, nice. That's well over 5,000 damage dealt here so far. The grill bouncing a shot. Nice kill. Okay. Ah! What was that? <laughs> I mean, I did okay in the end, but that game was so boring. So boring. 6,000 damage almost, though. Second class. Okay, so people are doing good in this tank. Actually, I probably didn't make that much XP because I was sniping. Yeah, 1370 is pretty low for a 6k game. Um, good job to the enemy's type. He played a good game there. Our, our meds, not so good, man. These, these these meds really, really, really kind of made it hard. I could have played a lot more aggressively up top and actually done something if they had just pushed the hill like most meds would. Uh, but at least we got 6,000 damage out. Oof, counteracting those first two rather diabolical games. Yeah, this is definitely, I think that's much better off. Slightly further back from the enemy's main forces and just farming them on DPN. Which leaves the question if... That is necessarily a unique or super interesting playstyle. I don't know. What I'm going to do here, I'm definitely going to head up over towards C cap because I, I prefer C cap. I used to love going mid, but honestly, nowadays, you just it seems like you always get yellowed when you're chilling in mid, trying to cover fire people there, and your allies are never in a position to really cover you properly. So unless I'm in a fast tank, I, I usually won't go mid as often anymore. But C cap's always pretty solid, especially if you have a fair few heavy tanks coming in to support you. The enemy's M4 is not going here, and that's the tank that would be super annoying to face haul down. So that's a good that's a good start for this battle. And let's see what we can do by crossing over in towards the corner here. Looks like our Vicar's Light is also spotting up this end, and there is the enemy's Projeto. Put a quick shell towards him. Unfortunately, that shot does not go in. Uh, so is the way of RNG, but this one should... Should go in, I, I, I says to myself. Okay, no, that one won't go in either. That, that, that's fine. That's fine. I didn't want the shots to go in anyways. It's, it's cool. Who, who wants your shots to pen, right? Right? Who, who, who wants their shots to pen? <laughs> okay. So, 183 does not currently have shots on me here. If I do push up, though, I don't want to send the open. All right, let's put a quick shot to the 60 TP. He'll definitely pen my lower plate. I'm not too concerned about it because we do have him on DPM at least, so... Put another shell into him. I just want to make sure the 183 didn't put me in a crossfire here. All right, 60 TP. Trying to make a bit of a break for it here. Let's track him in place. There we go. You see the Conway is also kind of pre-aiming over here. So let's see. Oh, 60 TP wants to die. Nice. He actually picked up a kill. Good for him. Okay. We're doing all right. We're doing all right, guys. We're doing all right. Could be, could be a whole lot worse right now. Ah, That's a bit of a rip. Is I we just keep pushing in on this dude. He he is uh, omega distracted anyways. No! Wow, wait, their whole team is just dead at this point. Oh hi, Badger. Howdy, Badger. Howdy do, howdy do, buddy. Hope your day's going well. Don't mind if I if I put some damage into you, would you? You wouldn't mind now, would you? You're you're a good man. Okay, this this gun is deceptively inaccurate considering its accuracy, which is not bad. Okay. Do we keep going for the badger here? Maybe. Or maybe. Yeah, we go straight for the 183. Okay, well, it, it was an okay game. I, I feel that the gun is oddly trolling me a little bit more than I than I would have expected, all things considered. <laughs> it looks accurate when you're driving, and then somehow it's like missing all of its shots. I don't get it. Someone explain, please. <laughs> 3,300 damage. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Uh, no, I don't think it needs to... Maybe, maybe, let's try a refined gun. Maybe a refined gun will make a difference. I don't know. I think usually V-Stabs is better, but 
We'll, we'll, we'll give her five go to try. This is the best part about first playing a vehicle is just kind of messing around with the equipment until you find something that makes it feel the best. <laughs> the gun control. A, a little bit. A little bit. Which is fine. It's balanced. If I had a Leo gun, it would be pretty... Maybe a little bit broken. So I get it. But I feel like some of these shots are pretty well aimed in. And they're just like, whoop, top of the reticle. <laughs> Fans, that tanks have a weak gun mantlet. Yes, I know. I, I figured that out when the Chieftain Mark VI was just petting my mantlet and the Yag AP pen to my mantlet. I found out pretty quickly within the first two games that this tank's armor profile is actually not all that it seems to be. I prefer tanks to have a strong mantlet and weak so weaker side turret than tanks to have a weak mantlet and stronger sides because at least when you have like um, a strong mantlet, you know, they can't aim center mass and just pen you every time. Okay, quick shot to this man's here. That 62 way might be a bit of a nuisance on this end, not gonna lie. But I don't think I have all day to worry about him, so. Let's just HE splash him, at least. Okay. I want to be able to help out on the hill, that's why. Okay, so we will want to watch out for Mr. E4 here. Quick shot to him there. Nice. Alrighty, alrighty. Nice. Mr. E4 not having a very good day here. Our team is absolutely killing it already. And now this is a much, generally speaking, a much better scenario for an XM. I'm, I'm just going to push up with my heavies here, because why not? No, it, it, it doesn't hurt to. Actually, no, I'm going to be the one taking all the shots. Rats. <laughs> rats. The rats done got me. All right, track the 100 again. Nice, track him again, Kron. My mans out here with them tracking shots. I appreciate it. Respect. Good stuff. All right, all right. Let's keep at it, boys. Let's keep the momentum up. Um, <laughs> okay. I I'll keep the momentum up. You just chill, okay? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I was tracking this dude as well. Get ready to start turning around for the 62A, maybe. I might be able to get one more shell into this dude. He's going to put a shell into me as well. Is that cool? Oh, never mind. He, he failed. All right. Yeah, dude, hold on, XM. Like, in a scenario like this, it feels pretty solid. You know, you can't you can't complain about it too much. Let's track this dude again. Good stuff. Maybe if I'm fast enough, I'll be able to pick up a little kill on this dude for the 4K damage. There we go. Pretty easy. Good job to my team on the hill. They managed to clear a hill pretty well there. So well played to the allies. They did good work. But um, yeah, I mean, we find 4K up there pretty quickly, right? It only takes like a minute and an, a minute and 20 seconds of shooting nonstop for you to do 4K damage, roughly, right? So not bad. That was a good scenario though. Mines, little maps, you know, that's, that's the type of stuff that's going to be best for this type of vehicle for sure. Uh, got the badges for 14K fold for uh gold <laughs> uh was that a good deal eh, i wouldn't have bought it unless it dropped below like 10 or 11k but you know it's, you don't you can never tell the badger might sell out pretty fast i think the badger actually did sell out faster than the m60 i don't know why because i honestly i don't think the badger is like that stellar it's fine i i don't i don't think it's like worth more than 12k ish gold probably it's been out for a very long time and everything. There's also just a lot of really good alternative vehicles that perform quite well. So, this is a risky crossing. My tank's slow. This might be a really, really, really bad idea on my part. So I'm redlining this as much as I can. So I can try and avoid getting spotted. Oh, their team's not here. Well. Oh, I mean, a Ratso just got nuked. Goodbye. Okay, you know what? We're just going to push across then. Wow, the Sheridan spawn sniping. We got <laughs> we got the spawn sniping Sheridan, the front lighting TDs. This is just your everyday pub battle when World of Things Blitz. And I have no clue what their team is doing. Absolutely no clue. But it looks like they are just straight up hardcore YOLOing this end. Which respect, I guess. Kinda, maybe. A little bit. Maybe just maybe 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 just an ounce of respect. Alright. Oh, that perfectly pre-aimed shot there that's what we like to see boys that's what we like to see oh m4 don't get yourself spotted there buddy or you're gonna make him turn towards me that's not cool oh never mind me and the m4 with them double nukes insane we're insane with it all right all right all right all right all right track shot I see how it is i see how it be oh did he spot me he did not spot me this is such a weird game what is happening okay here's what we're gonna do um, I should be able to cross unspotted unless they all rotate back, but I think if I can clear out the E5 should be good farm and I can clear out that crossfire, the E5 and the Sheridan, then their whole team is st stuck over there. 
which means our team could be a little bit better to rotate around. So, I'm gonna see if I can start clearing out these two dudes. Yeah, you know what? This tank is pretty fast. I don't know. Like, it feels slow. I think it's the traverse speed that makes it feel a little bit slower, but once it starts accelerating, it actually is really not that bad. All right, let's see. Will our alpha damage screw us, or will it stay and we will not low roll? Let's go. We managed to not low roll. Well, hello there. Okay, no, no hello there indeed. Hello there indeed. <laughs> nice ricochet. What? Nah, that, that ain't fair, man. That ain't fair. What is that nonsense, huh? Okay, one heat shell bounced here. Now, I do have the E5 big time on DPM at least. E5 not having... Okay, wow. Wow, wow. I, I This gun is like low-key trolling, trolling the living daylights out of me. Still, the more I can make this dude overextend with my reverse speed, the better it is for me. There we go. We made him overextend a little bit here. Maybe a nice track shot. Nice. 6.9 second reload will not be enough to perma track him, but it's enough to keep him in place long enough where I can track him again. Right? There we go. He's a three shot. I'm a four shot. And uh, it could be a whole lot worse here. Another shell into him here. All right, let's angle up the hall a little bit. Man, this uh, this tank's armor profile ain't cutting it, Chief. Sure ain't cutting it. Okay. So here's what we're going to do here. Okay, maybe with adrenaline we can just barely out reload this E5 here. All right, perfect. So we managed to pick up some clears there. Lost way too many hit points for it. That's the, the scary thing about E5s. Hi, Bobby, come to say hello. And I'm just going to back up a bit here. Although unfortunately my allies are very, very not doing well. Wow, they they actually all managed to kind of die over there. I'm I'm legitimately impressed by that. All right, all right, all right. No, Badger's not giving me any shots, unfortunately. B Bobby, I know, I know. You want to say hello. You're a good kitty, but you're getting in my way a little bit. Okay. Eh, I'm just going to stay back here. There's not really a whole lot I can do at the moment. Okay, nice little max roll to this dude. Problem is going to be caps for the enemy team, so they're kind of forced to push in here. I'm just shooting heat at this point. I, can't, I don't want to risk it. Okay. E75 is a one tap. Let's see, where's the badger? There's the badger. Can't quite hit him from back here. My my concern right now is gonna be whichever other vehicle could be getting ready to crossfire me out. Okay, the Minerato's not pushing on me just yet, but he's gonna he's definitely gonna kill our ally here. Okay, one shot into this dude at least. You don't hit those, right? Kill. Nice, I'm spotted now, so let's pull in the cover. We're so close to winning on cap. We're so close to winning on cap. T30's over there. Minerato's coming for me. Minerato's got to kill me in the M4. We still have B cap. We still have B cap. We're chilling. We're chilling. 340 heat might not be enough for this dude, though. Let's see. Perfect. <sighs> my, my allies wanted to lose. They, they were trying so hard. So hard. <laughs> Now, Bobby, did you mess up my camera angle again? Aye, aye, aye. Okay, okay, it's first class, five and a half thousand damage. You know what? I think we did okay there. I think we did okay. And you know what, M4, you did pretty good too. At least, at least you did something. Unlike the, uh, the, the other meds and lights that I had on my team. Holy my goodness, ah, that E5, man. Okay, I'm glad I run Rammer on this tank. Rammer was the only reason I beat that E5. Um... Pretty important play I made there is like right away I noticed that the object was going to be yellowing in uh, or, or whatever. The WZ light tank was going to be yellowing in for me. So I took the precaution of preparing my vehicle to rotate left to snap a kill shot onto him. Because even though, yes, I could have just sat there and killed the E5. E5 was still on a, a longer reload. I had 440 hit points, but would have been much more dangerous for my vehicle in that scenario would be a light tank kind of pushing around. So that's why you saw me pull back on that hill just so I could traverse in time to kill him on reload, which worked out in my favor there. So that was a very important little play. And I do think I made the correct decision there in, in pushing the E5 and helping to clear out that side because if that E5 was allowed to sit there and farm, I mean, he had already dealt 3,000 damage from that position. Well, not, maybe not 3,000. He, he, he took off like... Most of my hit points, so he, he, he'd he already dealt like a thousand damage, <laughs> maybe 1500 damage in that corner. But if he was allowed free reign there, that would not have been good for my team. Okay, so some things to keep an eye on here. 
M4 going haul down is going to be really, really nasty for my tank to deal with, unfortunately. M60 should be crossing any moment now, right? Is the M60 crossing? Oh, well, the bat shot's in the open, so don't mind if I do, good sir. Oh, the M60 already crossed, I see. Oh, nice, 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 yeah, stay there a little longer, buddy. Nice. Okay, yeah, we are... Oh, boy, that's, uh, that's a rip for the enemy team at this point there. At this point, they may as well just... Just kind of give up on life. All right, quick shot onto this dude. Ooh, 513. Was that a little high roll that I saw there? Was was that an actual little high roll that we had there? Let's go. Let's see. Maybe with a heat shot onto this dude. Nice. M4 is getting quite aggro on this outside corner here, but oh no. Now you're getting crossfired out. Let's put a quick shot onto him there. Yeah, haul down. Definitely this tank's cup of tea. I, I don't think that's a surprise to anyone here. Okay, that was just bad shooting. Um, let's see. Let's see. Mr. T30 over here. There we go. This is just GG game over. Their meds played that terribly. And now their team's paying the price by losing this game as quickly as they physically <laughs> and mentally can. This T30 is just like, nah, man, I give up. <laughs> Oh, I kind of feel- I almost feel bad for the enemy team, man. Their 57's probably AFK is my bet. I mean, he hasn't been spotted all game. He has to be AFK, right? Alright, let's yellow in, boys. Full speed ahead. We don't farm AFKs. We only kill tanks that are awake and alive. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, please don't rack me. That would be really rude of you if you racked me. Ow. That was still rude of you, buddy. Yo, impressive work, everyone. Yo, doubly impressive work, everyone. Wow, triply impressive work, everyone. I like how the 54 is just ramming against me that whole time. Is he actually in our spawn? No way. There's no way, right? The whole reason he's in our spawn, so he must have been getting shot by him earlier, right? That has to be the only explanation. In which case, maybe he's already at sea. Oh my gosh. Wow, I should have trusted a Hori. No way. What is this man's doing? He's just like chilling over here. Observing the scenery? Maybe he's observing the scenery, right? That that would make sense. <laughs> we got 4,000 damage out there. I'm actually having some pretty decent games. I had a bit of a rocky start in the XM. I think now I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with how it, how it performs. Which is helping out with my gameplay. Usually I have bad starts in a tank and then I get better at it with more games. I think that's pretty typical for a lot of people, but um, especially for me. There we go. 4,600 discs or so damage. I'll take it. <laughs> Member for 10 months. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Good to see you. Hi, hi. America has to be basically, but more flexible. <laughs> All right, 4,600 damage. We did okay, right? We, we did all right. It wasn't too bad. I'll take it. <laughs> well, their play style are very similar. Uh, Ayo, bad what? 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 Fast, what is your favorite? Is your favorite still Leo 1? Uh, yeah, probably Leo. Although Amex 30B, low-key, kind of my favorite nowadays. I think it's just saucy. Just casually learning the map layout. <laughs> he, he's very casually learning the map layout there. Plot twist. The 57 is actually a god tier player and just didn't want to embarrass fatness in his own stream. <gasps> you might have nailed that one on the head, man. You may have nailed that one on the head. It would all make sense. Chad 57. Very Chad. Very Chad. All right. I don't know if this equipment is better or if I'm just kind of getting better scenarios for the tank, but I feel like the gun is being a little bit more responsive. I I think I just have to make sure to really aim it in like an extra half second, especially. Oh, hi, Bobs. Welcome back. Um, really let it aim in for like an extra half a second or so, because I think that helps a lot for the, for this gun. It does have decent gun handling statistics once it's like started being aimed in and everything. So that's the good news. Okay, well, that's that's a Yigaru. Let's try and not take 800 to the face there. Hi, Bobby. Hi. Hi, how are you? Are you doing okay? Yeah? Are you trying to steal my microphone from me? Wow. Wow, I see. I see how it is. Oh, hi, Bobs. Bobby's just like human. Human. Let me, uh, let me sit here and help you. Okay, so... This side of the map, not looking so saucy for my team. Luckily for me is I can pull back pretty safely here if I need to. 
I might not need to. I'm haul down for the most part. So, I mean, a little bit of my upper plate's showing, but I mean, they can't really overextend here without getting yeeted by me in the crossfire. So we just, we just chill here. And hopefully we can hold here long enough for my teammates to not die to the Ag Tiger and the M103 on the flank. Oh, it's the same 57. Oh, Pan making a mistake there. That's huge. Okay. Let me see what we can do about this. So we know the Yag and the 183 is positioning at least. 268, you're going to hit those? My man. A for effort. A for effort. Maybe I'll hit it. Let's go. Okay. So... I think our 57 Heavy low-key getting gamed on by a... Oh, the, oh wait. The, uh, the Jaeger moved up. Good to know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on, come on. Pull up, buddy. A little bit more. I want to, like, clear out our flank here. It's kind of hard. Let's see. I hope I'm not wasting time on this dude while my teammates are getting YOLO'd. They kind of are getting YOLO'd a little bit. But, you know what? If I can help the homie in the 57 here... Just don't bounce your last shot, man. That's all I ask. Okay, actually, I got a bigger plan. A bigger and a better plan. We know where the other dudes are. This dude cannot be allowed to sit on our flank, though. That would be bad. So let's track him, and we're just gonna YOLO across. And hopefully we don't get farmed up the boutte. Yay, this tank's fast enough where I don't get fired. Just track him again. What's up, buddy? We're gonna ram into him. Maybe we can make him into a one-shot here. Aim for those fuel tanks, maybe? Not quite. Oh, man, even the key... Dude, even the Kampf Panzer 50, which is notorious for having mid-pen, is able to pen my mantlet there with no problem. Oh, no, it's one versus everyone. That's not what I wanted to see at all. That's nice. All right, quick shot into this dude here. And, yeah, there's a prog on my boute soon. So there's not really a whole lot I can do here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One more track shot. <laughs> Holy team, man. Our 57 Heavy lost a 1 versus 1 to an M103. Like, oh, I don't know what the other dude did yellowing into their spawn, dying to the Yag Tiger. Um, yeah, this dude did zero. This dude did two shots on the flank. Oh! 88,000 games and 45%. I, our 268 did one shot, 41%er. Oh dear. Uh, prog, yeah, the prog kind of got yellowed. He was in a bad scenario. I can't really blame him. 42%er. Oh my goodness. 47%er. Okay. Well, we did okay damage. Uh, let's see. In retrospect, maybe I should have just YOLO'd in with the allies on the front there. I, the problem was that I thought the Yag was still sniping, so I didn't want to cross and take like 900 damage to the side with the tungsten or something. And so I was hoping that I could kind of push the flank, but then I had to like worry about the M103 because I didn't want the M103 and Yag Tiger just to free farm me if I decided to pressure the Yag. Uh, but I should have probably just pushed on the front sooner. I think if I had done that, maybe my team would have had a better chance at winning there instead of kind of hesitating. I took a little bit too much time trying to figure out where I wanted to position myself there. We did an okay damage, 3.8k, so just a little bit under 4,000, but yeah, my teammates were just evaporating and I wasn't there to help them fast enough, unfortunately. Okay, so what do we got here? Let's see. We are going to cruise our, on over to this front line here. I'd rather kind of play a, a nice little haul down position if possible. Fortunately, they don't have too many TDs, but we will have to be careful all the same on this side. That's assuming they send anyone over here, which I guess at the moment it would appear not. However, I still have to watch out because they could easily all rotate back to try and kill me. If I get spotted over here, they're going to be like, hmm, a lonely XM, don't mind if I do. And then oh, my life's just not going to be very fun. So I do want to have a little bit of caution when playing this corner here. Wow, I was not expecting that. Okay. Where the heck did the Waffenträger go? Is the real question. That's, 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 that's the real question here. All right, one shell to the waffle. Nice, I think they're all shot here. So their whole team is, is low-key just kind of sitting back there. That's insane. All right, waffle's taken out. Our, um, our 57 has become bait, but there's an enemy 57 coming in on our flank we have to watch out for now. So that should be, that should be very, very interesting, I think. Yeah, I can help out this WZ. Nice, one shell to him there. Good, quick clear there as well. I think what we can do is start counter pushing this 57. My team is big time winning already. So the enemy team were all just sitting in the back of their spawn as, as you know, talented players do nowadays. 513, little max roll there. Always saucy to get those. And at this point, it's game over. It's farm DPM time. Yes, sir. Let's go, Juan. Let's show them how this is done, my dude. 
Yeah. All right, 400 damage into this 57 here. I don't want to waste a kill shot on this dude, but you know what? I'm a bad player. I'm a bad player. You know what? Excuse me, 57. This this enemy 57 being a big, big no bueno. <laughs> yeah, that's right, one. You know what's up. You know what's up. Screw the 57. Let's farm some damage, buddy. <laughs> Me and the C-75 with the big brain plays for that extra extra damage. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, mind you, if I just penned my kill shot, it would have been fine. By the way, I would not condone that behavior if it was a close game, but it was like such a steamroll that I was like, I want to get one extra shot in. Uh, it worked out in the end. We did we did the 3,300 damage. Hey, he's he's aye, he's aye. The E-75 actually did really good there. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that was a steamroll game. I don't know. Their whole team sat in spawn. I'm pretty sure all three of their tier 10 heavy tanks were straight up just sitting in spawn. Or two. However many tier 10 heavies they had. Uh, they had two TDs in spawn and two heavies at least. So, big brain plays by them. Uh, I'm adding the XM66F to my list of save for the last LOL tanks. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible. It's not. It's, it's not. It, it's a pretty solid tank, but... To be honest with you, I personally wouldn't really try too hard to get this vehicle. Uh, on my own account. I mostly, right, you guys know my play style. I foresee myself not really playing this tank like all that often. If I were to get it, it'd be in the same realm as like a uh, a badger, where it's like, oh yeah, it's cool maybe to pull out every once in a while, have a game or two in it. But for the most part, it's kind of just one of those tanks where you just not going to play it all too often. That's my take on it. If you love this type of play style, these type of armored TDs with DPM, then maybe this would be like one of the best tanks in the game for you. Yeah, it really does depend on what you like. All right. So it is a supremacy matchup here. Maybe someone's crossing like right there. Who knows? You never know, right? I have like 70 rounds of ammo. I'm not too concerned right now about running out. What I am concerned about though is our complete lack of information on the enemy team's positioning. So... Let's, let's see if we can start changing that. All right, so we got this little dude over here, which is um, making a peculiar play. If I say so myself, I might be spooted. I am indeed spooted. Being spooted, never good. All right, let's see. Someone kill him. Eh, you know what? I don't have kill shots on him. Okay, so this is definitely already a problem that we're going to have to get ready to deal with. Enemy team have two caps. We have one. Our teams are both pretty split up here. I mean, our team's pretty split up. Their team seems to be fairly centrally focused. So now I have to decide what, where to rotate to. Because honestly, the last thing we want right now is to get Omega capped out. That's never good. All right. Quick, he shot to this man's here. So that's an M4 MLE over on that flank. All right. And this 60 TP is giving me another shot. The Badger AP penning me, what I assume to be through the front of my... Oopsie, that's an M4. He's probably going to AP pen me too. Yep, right through the upper plate there. That was a heat shell, not an AP shell. It is what it is. I was just trying to cover a waffle a little bit here and farm the 60 TP. Still, we are getting Omega out capped. The cap is definitely going to be the biggest, biggest problem we have to deal with soon. Get a poke, buddy. See, I don't want to waste time on this M4 because he's just dragging me out of the fight, which is great for him, but it's not good for my team. And right now, I don't have, like, any any map control. This is why I hate supremacy in big old TDs that are slow. Yeah, this, this game is, this game is low-key just over, ain't it? Oh, I just misfired too. I'm really talented at this game, as you can tell, guys. Badger's relocating. Aim, 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 aim. Yeah, it. This game's just over, man. This game is straight up just over. It's over to cap. That's that's the problem. I should have maybe tried to encourage my team to go into town here, instead of um, kind of pushing it over towards the side of the map. Ay ay ay. Maybe one more shot. Uh, remind me of the dirt supremacy off in slow TDs. I couldn't even, I see, if I'd rotated out faster into our spawn, I could have counter pushed the M4, but I got stuck there. And my whole team was just sitting at the, like, enemy spawn, not moving or anything. Like, we did okay damage, considering no one on my team broke 2k. Holy smokes, though. Never supremacy in slowish TDs. <laughs> ah.
I hate Supremacy so much. I'll be play it uh, with it on so I don't get too long of a queue. So let me let me turn that off. Let me turn that off. It'll make my life a little easier. Plus, this tank's good on mines. I really don't mind if I get more mines games. <laughs> uh, it's very painful as always. Yeah. Well, the, the problem was is no one on my team really rotated there. And you know, I didn't even really rotate all that much, but I, I was trying to rotate back to our spawn. I was. That's why I moved back initially. But the problem was is the M4 had already pushed in by that point, and my whole team was just kind of sitting in the enemy spawn, so I couldn't just YOLO back through there on my own and, and make it for free. So I ended up trying to see if I could counter farm and counter cap, but there was just too many crossfires. It is what it is. We'll just jump to the next game. That, that is why I generally encourage that you do not play Supremacy in slower vehicles that are going to struggle if you're down on caps, generally. It has it. It has its positive moments, like the game on Canal where we won, and I did five and a half thousand damage. We won because we had so many cap points uh, ahead of the enemy team. So there are certainly advantages, but it is, uh, it is always as always a little bit risky. Okay, so that's maybe not good. That is not maybe not good. That is very much not good. Alrighty, so what can we do now is the real question. I'm not even sure what is happening this game. I just saw one of my allies get full health a few seconds into the battle and that was it. Come on, you can shoot him, buddy. We gotta watch for that 183's crossfire too. That's gonna be real nasty if we're not careful about it. Okay, maybe the C100 will give me some shots here in a moment. He did, but he didn't keep him. All right. Okay, quick snapshot to that dude. There we go. Pretty clutch, pretty clutch. T30's pushing in as well. That's huge. Let's have another light tank pushing in here. I'm a bit worried about the crossfires and the grill. The 183 at least doesn't have shots on me. Oh, no, no. He's definitely thinking about it. Oh, he's definitely going to go for it, isn't he? If I stay here, he's going to go for it. That's for sure. Oh, I'm just going to have to bake up my allies doing a decent job holding my rear here. Clutch kill. Nice. Okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. This is still a much better scenario than that one rat supremacy battle. That's for sure. Um, Grill throwing his tank away there. Pretty impressive if I say so myself. And I think that means I should be pretty good to start counter pushing this WZ here. So let us begin. Careful, he's gonna go for our object here. He's gonna go for our object, buddy. Oh, no! My farm, I'm so mad. I am big time mad. No, but buddy, no, don't block me. Oh my gosh, dude, you only have one shot on the mag. Just let, just let the full HP TD through so we can nuke him. There you go, see, that's how it's done. Kinda. Nice work there, buddy. Nice work there, buddy. You got him, TI-5? If I, if, if I don't kill him? Oh, thank heavens. Okay, we can get our 4k damage out. Almost. 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 I'll take it. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> See, this tank is really solid in these type of scenarios. It, it, it's solid when you have a lot of hold on cover, and you can kind of just sit back with your team, and it's a bit of a drawn-out game, so you can really just capitalize on your DPM late battle, especially if you preserve your HP. Like, late game, I was just like, YOLO, I got the full send it for free. I, I take it. I take it. <laughs> um, earlier today, two of my teammates had a Warhammer 40k avatars, and I had one as well. We won the game easily. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> I played for like two hours, an hour break and so. Yeah, usually, uh, usually I don't play Blitz for longer than an hour. Because that's when my gameplay starts tanking, usually. usually. That's when I'm like, eh, I'm not playing so well anymore. Um, speaking of not playing so well, my team really wants to go right side, which I think is a terrible idea. Personal experience, right side, big time suck. But, you know what? That's what they want to do. Who am I to deny them this opportunity to throw their tanks away? Oh, interesting. 
fine. Mr. E5, that's right. That's right, Mr. E5. Keep pushing on in. That a boy. So where's my E6 at? Oh, there's Mr. E5. That's also Mr. E3 as well. The fortunate news for me is I am able to pull into a hold on spot here with a 183 for crossfires. So that's the fortunate news for me. The unfortunate news is uh, actually, you know what? Their whole team is pushing up here pretty aggressively. It really is not that bad now that I think about it. The problem is the E3 is going to mega farm me here if I'm not careful. The unfortunate part for Mr. E3, though, is uh, if he's not careful, he's also going to get... Bro, okay, team, you've got to be kidding me. See, this is why we never go right, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we never go right. Right is such a bad idea for this purpose and this reason only. no way for me to really back out of here, is there? Not really. Ay, 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 teammates. What are y'all doing? Problem is, this Mr. E5 here is now going to push up for me. I'm just staying alive. I'm just staying alive. If my allies can do something, all the better. Okay. Can I maybe get out of here? Come on, come on. Nice, nice. I managed to escape at least. I can help out our E50M finally. Oh no. No! After all of that work. Oh snap! Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No! Come on, 405! What are you doing, buddy? You had a. F <laughs> he was just sitting there. No, our E50M's gonna lose this. Yep, I, uh, I called it. I called it. Absolute trash side of the map. Even though the enemy team YOLO'd me with, like, four vehicles, my allies could not clear the two tanks on this end. It's just, this side is so terrible. You, you don't have to play more than two games on this map to just realize how awful this side of the map is. And also, buddy, don't let the E5 YOLO yours. It's over. It's all over. It's all over, brother. Oh, buddy, he has a six second reload. You should at least try and run away. Oh my goodness. Backing up is not gonna make your tank run away from him faster there. Ah, it's, it's over. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. My allies, my allies, like they, I was hauled out. I would have been fine there. All they had to do was keep them two meds on that, the one or two meds on that flank down, but they all just ran off into the middle where I was and got themselves killed. E50M did okay, but like 44% two shots, 49% two shots, one shot. Holy smokes, man. What is with all these diabolical, uh, diabolical medium tanks, man? Almost 24 months. Dang, almost two years. Let's go, Maria. <laughs> My gosh, man, I hate Medside. I, I despise Medside on that map. I, I still, to this very day, cannot comprehend why anyone would think that's a good side of the map to play on. The heavy side is just so much better. Like You, you can play heavy side in a paper medium tank just fine. <laughs> that end just gets way too crossfired out. Teams are amazing, am I right? They are! I'm putting some control mode on. Maybe it'll help. I, I think it will, but the queues will get slightly longer. Send me 50M from last game. Okay. Hmm, this is a good map. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's see. Kron, not so fun to deal with. Lots of TDs. Alrighty. Thanks for stopping the teams in the stream. And congrats on completing the IRL grind. Thank you so much, Tricky48, for the donation. Really do appreciate that. And uh, yeah. Yeah, it feels good to have the IRL grind finished. For now. <laughs> for now. We'll see. Maybe the IRL grind will pick up again. Well, it definitely will pick up in, in a different form. All right. What do we got here? We got a big old chonky WZTD. We have the 183's position. That's good to know. Our STB is chilling hold down over here. I'm going to cover the right side a bit. Help our 907 out, maybe. If he starts getting counter pushed on. Problem is, is me, this 907 and STB, while we're in strong positions, we could very easily be counter pushed here if we're not careful. So we have to be really careful here to not get counter pushed on by their whole team. 
The fortunate news for us is that they're... Dude. Do you see how they just AP pen you, man? That's that's the problem with this tank when you try and play all down and you're straight up just getting AP pen to the Thanks front of the turret. The teams in or heat pen. Yeah. At least this tank has good ground. reverse speed to compensate. <laughs> At least this tank has good reverse speed to kind of compensate for the fact that it's uh, the front of its turret, ain't it, chief? Like, look at that. Pen, pen, pen. Every little weak spot in the front of the turret just gets sniped super easily. And unfortunately, like, it's not the worst accuracy, but it's not very snappy either. So that, that also adds another level of difficulty to this tank. Is like, you don't want to sit in the open and, and give them free shots on you, if you can help it. Wow, 404 HE damage, by the way. So apparently this tank does not have good HE alpha. Noted. <laughs> All right. Our VK90 created quite the diversion. I'm going to try and capitalize on that by farming out this chieftain here. All right, I see how it is. My teammates are doing good work, though. My teammates are doing good work. We should be chilling. We should be chilling, at least with the W here. Oh, someone caught him on fire as well. What is this chieftain's luck, man? Holy smokes. <laughs> Everyone's going for the damage. And no one's gonna get it. Because <laughs> our Yag picked him up. Insane. Alright, I'll take the W. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two point nine k. It is what it is. No surprise. STB one Omega farming with its eleven degrees of gun depression. Same turret armor. Premium AP. I'd rather be playing an STB right now. Uh, what's your favorite map? What am I, what am I reading? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Jen. I I don't. What's up, Jen? By the way, good to see you, dude. Uh, I I honestly do not. Yeah, to just just ban that person, honestly. Yeah, just 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 what what the heck? I'm looking through like, no, don't pin. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you, Jet, for cleaning that up. I didn't. I wasn't like looking at chat too carefully. <laughs> ay ay ay! Y'all are diabolical sometimes. Not everyone, but so, some people are pretty diabolical. Don't let him cook. <laughs> yeah, no, please. Please, he's a terrible cook. Don't let him cook. It's a waste of food. <laughs> My favorite map is False Creek because of nostalgia with the T2064. You mean like the old school False Creek? I get old school False Creek. I'm not so sure about new False Creek, but uh, old school False Creek is pretty saucy. Ooh, I'm going to have to start to get more streams to do. I'm not necessarily going to have a whole bunch more time. I will have more time, certainly, compared to the last month or two. But I will still be busy looking for work. And if I do find a job miraculously, uh, that will be very busy learning all the ins and outs of what I need to do. So obviously, I'm not 100% sure. But until that time arrives, I will try and get some more streams out, you know? Also, I they could come this way, but I kind of doubt it. That dude's having a having a terrible day, looks like. Ooh, we hit those. We absolutely 150% hit those. Okay, so our STB is in a good haul down position. I'm gonna try and cross for their rear because you know that's really annoying for them. But, oh, dude, this accuracy just ain't cutting it for me on this tank, man. It really ain't. Okay, maybe we can push up behind them then. I think we can totally do it. I'll have to watch out for the Kron, though. The Kron could be a bit of a problem. Our STB is nice and haul down. He's in a good spot. We will have to watch out for that enemy's STB one as well. Enemy XM is being quite making some quite interesting plays here. He's just sitting up there with his whole rear facing them. So let's see what we can do about this TI-5E6. I don't know why our STB hasn't picked up any kills yet. There you go, buddy. That's pretty important there. Now we can start free farming this XM out a little bit here. Good stuff. Let's go, team. Everyone together, focus this one out first. He's in the open and he's a free, pretty much a free kill at this point. Okay, do we believe this tank's gun handling? 
Maybe. I turned auto aim off there, but it's not working, man. The XM is actually is hiding his tank pretty well there. Well, not anymore. Okay, he's a one shot. That could be problematic, but it, as, as long as he's not prioritizing me for the time being, that's the good news. RNG said yes. And now let's just push up onto this XM here. I think the crowns at STB are pushing around from behind us, so we're gonna definitely want to kind of pull past this dude a little bit. There we go. I didn't mean to use my prayer kit there. All right, STB, I expect your help, buddy. So what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure I can pull this XM into a crossfire. Of course he damages my ammo rack. So lucky. Uh, I wanted to make sure I could push him into a crossfire with the STB. That's why I chose to pull there and back up while also staying safe from their Kron, because I knew their Kron was in this vicinity. So I think we made the right push there. Unfortunately, we did lose a lot of HP doing it. I don't think pushing down is really going to be all that beneficial for me at this point. Yeah, the STB straight up just has to clear, so I'm just going to push in because my ammo's out anyways. Nice. All right. Well, this wasn't a too bad game. It wasn't too bad of a battle. I was a bit I was a bit slow on the counter push here, that's for sure. Holy. Holy my goodness. Okay. Let's see. Where is Mr. STB going to be is the real question. Will he be flanking around? Coming up next. Find the STB. Maybe he doubled back. I wouldn't be surprised if he uh, if he failed to double back, actually. Well, never mind. If I kept on my initial trajectory, I would have had perfect shots on this dude. Okay, so here's where the fun begins. Mr. STB is making a break for it. He's going to do the ring around the rosies over here. Oh, but our STB is on to him. Our STB is on to him. Will he be able to escape? Coming up next, or will the 183 deal a fatal blow? 183 absolutely smashing the STB. And this STB just died. Good job, dude. <laughs> Honestly, STB probably would have had more damage if he just stayed in park and stayed hold out and farmed us. He probably would have had more damage at the end, but I, I see what he was trying to do there. He was trying his best. He was trying his best. And not even 3k, bro. What? I swear that game was more damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. At least I felt like I did more. Australia is different time period. Oh, I thought we were on the same, same time zone. <laughs> Old Lost Temple, dude. Old Lost Temple was great. Dead Rail? Old Dead Rail is definitely better. Old Oasis Palms is S tier. Straight up an S tier map. New Oasis Palms is fine, but dude, nothing compares to Old Oasis. Uh, Alright, time for me to depart from this place to seek guidance with the Emperor of Mankind to clear my brain of Chuck's disturbing messages. <laughs> I don't know. Farewell. May you find the peace and guidance that you need to progress onwards in life. <laughs> Oh, you should come to Australia when we are short of workers in every, every industry. <laughs> Yo, I could play the didgeridoo. W, W Australia. Actually, I wouldn't mind Australia. Australia is pretty cool. When I was younger, I used to want to move to Australia because I liked didgeridoos and I always thought the Australian environment was really, really, really cool. Although I, I may be not so keen on those... Um, what are they called? Wolf tunnel spiders or something? You know, the the, the spiders with uh, with fangs that can puncture through your toenails. The Sydney, is it like the Sydney tunnel web or cone web spiders? I, I, I don't remember the name. They're scary. They're very, very scary. Uh, It's called, I think it's a Sydney spider. Which one is it? Funnel spider. Yeah, funnel spiders. Nasty little buggers. I think that's the one, right? There's these big old spiders. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's the one. What a nasty little creature. Not too fond on that. Or is it the Huntsman? Is it the Huntsman? Maybe it's the Huntsman. No? I don't know. Wh wh which is the nasty spider that's like in the, uh, the Sydney area? Uh, Hunts? No, I don't think it's a Huntsman. I'm pretty sure it's the, it's the funnel spider, right? Right? It has to be the funnel spider. We're doing some research while I sit in queue, because world's deadliest spider, the funnel web Australian spider. There we go. See, we're doing some insane research right now. <laughs> These things are terrible looking. There's 35 species of, of funnel web spiders. Okay. Most, <laughs> a number of which are found on Australia's eastern coast. Ha! Huh. Who would have thought?
Okay. Yep. Aggressive spider. Oh, and they're aggressive too. <laughs> Even more scary. All right, I'm just. I just want to look at the poison. Where's the poison? I don't know. I, apparently, just anti venom. I don't know. So yeah, funnel web spiders. I'm pretty sure that's the one I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah, it was the funnel web one. Okay. Australia has too many spiders. They do. Also, welcome to the NA Sava. It's been three minutes on the holidays, and I do not have myself a game yet. The mobile players are a dying specimen. Maybe if I put Supremacy back on. You know what? I do prefer the mobile teams. They were definitely better than the PC ones, but it, I just can't get into a game of Saint Control Mode on. <laughs> yeah, Australia and Red, Red back. Australia is like a zoo for dangerous animals. Dude, Australians are like the most insane people in the world. I swear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just, just a bunch of deadly spiders in my yard, you know? Oh, yeah, we have like a hundred venomous snakes that can kill you. No biggie. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> and then, like, you ever seen, like, the, the wall... The, 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 the wallabies and kangaroos. Dude, the kangaroos are built different. Dude, kangaroos are straight up the bodybuilders of the animal kingdom. Those dudes are just insane. Like, you'd not, you would not want to get kicked by one of those. Hey, fans, just joined. What do you think of the XM? I think it's all right. It's probably not not my favorite tier 10 tank for sure. It, it it has a lot going for it. It just doesn't really... It doesn't really mesh well with my play style. And so, I'm personally not a huge fan of it. But it, it, it is a fine tank. It has a very good gun. Its mobility is both slow, but also surprisingly fast. I don't know how they managed to pull that one off. But its mobility is a bit... It has really good reverse speed and fairly decent acceleration, but I think its traverse speed definitely feels a little a little bit lackluster at times. All right. Mr. 50B, it is time to play. Come here. Come here, buddy. Where are you at, buddy? Okay, this is a bit dangerous, but I feel like we, we, we got to kind of clear out this 50B as quickly as possible. All right, 445. So it's definitely not it in the high explosive department, that's for sure. Yeah, this, this tank is big time not in the HE department. Okay, another shell to this man's here. And he should die to our VK. He will not die to our VK. I'll, I'll kill him instead, that's fine. Our team is getting wrecked in spawn. The enemy team are doing a coordinated push with STBs and... Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Our 57 is also big time dead. This game is going to be really, really rough, man. Really rough. We're going to be lucky to win this, to be honest. The question is, where can we counter their team now? It's just us three. Our VK is pushing from down low. Interesting. I'm going to give this dude plenty of space to pull back. I think I'm going to hold here. I'm going to let the VK and the 4005 kind of hold off that angle. I'm going to see if I can hold off this angle here. Because I think someone's going to come through our flank soon. Hopefully our VK could just hold his HP. At least we're in a position where we can kind of all just sit back and cover each other. Okay, so they are coming from our left. Oh, there's that's that's one of them. Oh, hello. Okay, I got the 405. Pick up that clear, dude. Massive clear, massive clear. Okay, I'll keep the XM at bay. The TVP is gonna be a problem. TVP is definitely gonna come in from behind us soon enough. All right. Oh, you know what? The TVP is no longer a problem, guys. He really is no longer a problem. <laughs> Actually, he's a massive problem. He's a massive problem. I take it back. <laughs> Team. Oh my gosh. Okay. Prog 57 spawn sniping. I turned same control mode off. And the first thing I get is a spawn sniping 57 and a prog and progetto that yellow off into a flank by themselves when they when they are obviously outclassed on that side. Our 405 did okay there. This dude did one shot, 44%. VK one shot, 43%. Prague did two shots. He never should have pushed there when they had two M60s and a TVP in a platoon as well. Uh, apparently, we had an SCB too that went there. I, I think. I, oh gosh. I. I. Yeah. Yeah. There. 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 There, there ain't nothing I can do there. Kick this account. I dare you. I'll just make another account. Eh. Uh. If you are Chuck, you got kicked for saying stupid stuff in chat. That's why. <laughs> Don't say like stupid and inappropriate stuff in chat, all right? This is a uh 
My channel caters to a very wide audience, and as such, I tend to keep things clean here. And so if you're saying some diabolical, inappropriate things in chat, you're going to get kicked. That's something you should accept when you join these streams. Yes, you do have an issue. You, you very much do have an issue. <laughs> you have a big time issue. Farewell. <laughs> you can keep making accounts all you want, dude. It takes me two clicks to get rid of them. No one wants to read that. No one wants to read that or see that. You're just, you're just trolling and trolls have no place on this stream. Uh, in the chat, at least. If you don't want to chat, that's fine by me. <laughs> Really? Oh, wow. We got the insane... Ho okay, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Fosh. I'm so glad that your no-gun depression tank is chilling there, blocking all my shots. <laughs> Good job, Fosh. <laughs> but he's not only just taking up my position, but he's blocking me too. Like an absolute mad lad. Wow, I see how I see how it be sometimes. I see how it be. There we go. Pretty important clear there. Almost on the badger. We've almost cleared him. Which is huge, because clearing this badger is really important to me and my allies. There we go. Alright, we're doing okay so far. We're doing alright, fam. We're doing okay. Alright. That whole is being a, a bit of a a, a a pesky nuisance say the least. Well, you know what else is going to be a pesky nuisance? Yeah. Oh, the mouse and the vicar's light coming in on her flink. Th those two are going to be big time nuisances we're going to have to deal with soon. So, hello mouse. Sure. We hit so low on his side that the shot just completely missed. Actually, vicar's is more of a, more of a priority right now. There we go. Got to help out. Got to help out the, the homie in the, uh, in the gorilla 15. The gorilla might be okay for now. Yo, Fosh pushing in as well. Clutch Fosh, Clutch Fosh. Another heat shell. Conway starting to push in a little bit here as well. So. Conway shot. Mouse is shot. Alright, let's push around onto the mouse now so we can avoid crossfires with the Conway if at all possible. Ah. The Hori's come back for me. It's all over, buddy. It's all over. It's all over. Nice team, dude. Nice team. Let's see what's... Let's see exhibit. 57 heavy wanders into encounter cap, gets full health and died. Our M5-yo goes in counter cap and dies. Our, uh... 50 TP. Our Fosh got in the way on the hill. Honestly, could took the good position. Oh, Leo. I don't know how Leo died. Oh, boy, man. How, how, how often do I have to explain this to y'all? Don't push in counter cap on this map. Ever. Like, Ever. Their mouse is able to get away with it because he was facing zero damage Andy over and and, and <laughs> Antonio over here doing zero and one shot ma mag dump over here in the 57. Like our two heavy tanks that game did practically nothing. They just wanted encounter and died full HP. So please, please, please don't go encounter cap if you have to. Optimal on top. Ah, uh, yes, the snot, the spawn sniping Hori and the mouse that yellowed through on two bot heavies. Very big brain. <laughs> El Chuck. <laughs> Does anyone actually use enhanced armor? Always just take the HP. Yeah, on some tanks it's very much nice. Progetto, for instance, it's great because the Progetto's upper plate becomes auto ricochet with armor run with, if you run armor on the tank, facing a lot of vehicles. <laughs> I miss Fanus playing on his OG account. I I don't have an XM. M most of the most of the tanks I play on my press account, most of the time are not tanks that I own. Sometimes I just keep playing the press account because honestly, I can't be bothered to be Omega sweaty trying to keep my 30 day stats up. But if my 30 day stats go down, it's like rip. It was never really an issue beforehand when I played more outside of stream, but now like the only time I do play is when I'm streaming and streaming me is uh, ugh, gameplay is a bit suspect at times, to be honest. <laughs> I can't I can't quite stay as concentrated on the damage farm. If I did, that would be insane. Okay, 
so they have probably a platoon of crown wagons. Yeah. They're both be coming here. Still, if we can clear out their STB, that would be pretty big for us. So I'm going to see if I can start pressuring up just a little bit on this STB here. There we go. Make him a one, one shot at least. All right. Kron's in the middle. That's good to know. Nice little snapshot there. Good stuff. We also might be able to get some decent crossfire out onto Mr. Fosh over here. So how does the one on the Kron hit? But that one misses. I shall never understand this game. But that one hits. Let's go. I'm in such a good spot, though. This is, like, perfection. Perfection for my tank. For now. For now, it's perfection. I'm not really sure what my allies are doing over here. Allies are making some suspect plays, to say the least. Okay, getting a couple ricochets already. That's good. I'm gonna keep playing here so I can keep cover firing my my poor my poor allies over here. I hate Fosh Hatch. Fosh Hatch is so diabolical. Ay 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 ay. Oh hello. What the heck? Did you pen me, buddy? I respect it. Ay ay ay. What was that slow reaction time on my part? Yes, poke me. I dare you. Okay, maybe not a good poke for me. You know what? I'm just gonna push down. Down and around, why not? At this point, it's 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 31 on this side here. And yeah, this tank's dispersion is is uh I think part of it is because the tank is low-key kind of fast, so it, its dispersion can feel a little bit off at times. There you go, make a one shot. Good stuff, buddy. Alright. Nice little max roll into the hatch there. Good stuff as well. Let's keep the pressure going, boys. Let's keep that pressure going. All right, Mr. Fashipool. Will you be so kind as to just die peacefully here? That works, I guess. Someone else killed him. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh! Give me that HE, buddy. Give it here. He is so dead before I can kill him. Oh, nice. Slow roll. Right, Vickers has no alpha damage. Nice 300 alpha damage, Vickers Light, dude. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's the 100. He's probably gonna die before I can get to him. Maybe I can get a shell into him. One more shot would be kind of nice, not gonna lie. Track shot. Let's go. Perfect. Get him, boys. Yeehaw. <laughs> 4K. I'll take it. God love their amazing teammates. I love them, too. They're, they're the best. You know what? Bad teams happen. I, I try not to I try not to uh, dwell upon my previous teammates too long because it just ends up making you frustrated and I swear nothing you can do will change how they play. All you can do is change how you play to compensate for it. Ifanis, what do you think of Mr. Uh, I, I have no clue what that is and I, I don't I don't know. No, I have no clue. Uh, Blitz just doesn't bring as much joy anymore due to the influx of really bad players. Since we're gonna be shut down CI server, I'd rather play something else where my, where only my gameplay matters. Join the Arcanite squad, brother. Allow me to pitch it to you. Tower defense. Cute 2D illustrations. <laughs> gotcha mechanics. Blitz crates, but worse. I I join the Arcanite squad. We have a whole we have a whole channel on my Discord server dedicated to it. I'm, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Don't 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 judge me too much. Although, although you know what, Arc Knight's gameplay is actually pretty good. It is it is. It's more strat strategy based, but that's what I like about it. Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. I'm going med side because they have some pretty mobile heavies and some medium lights themselves. So I I would not be shocked at all if their team sent most of their forces this way. So that's why I kind of wanted to go over here. All right. Almost. So I got spooted pretty early, which tells me they probably have like a light tank back there or something. I'm not sure. Dude, look at that. Where? Look, right through the front of the mantlet. You see that? Right through the front of the mantlet. I think that's where you pinned me, right? Yeah. Welcome to the uh to the experience in this vehicle. Okay. We're getting spotted from there. I call it like 90%. Of there has to, well, there was something there. There's no way the Ag Tiger has view range to outspot me from back there. Also, the enemy team is going to be in our spawn very shortly. So, what do we do here? That Yag Tiger's dead. 
Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. It, it was the Sheridan in the back. So he probably relocated when he saw the yoke coming in, but still. Our Minotauro is not looking super healthy. I think... I don't want to necessarily get stuck back here. But I low-key think if I can help out our Minerazzo, that would be best. Yeah. If they go for a flank on him, he's got to stay safe, though. I can cover him from back here. But he's, he's going to have to chill and stay back. Anyone else capable of helping on this, helping me and the Minerato out? Okay, there's Leo. There's the IS-7. All right, Leo, you're going to push in or not? Nope. But he can't just sit there all game. I'll just cover his rear. I really don't want to overcommit to a position that's going to get me killed. That's why I'm being really hesitant here. But, you know what? Now that Mr. Fosh has pushed up, I think maybe we can make... Oh, yeah, VK's coming back, too. I was a little slow on it, but honestly, I'm tired of trying to rely on my allies. So, I'm going to take it a little more easy. Mind you, my allies actually did a good comeback over here, so shout out to them for that. Actually, they're straight up just winning this anyways, so... Mega shout out to them. Alright, time to pop that adrenaline, boys. Get some more damage in. Before it's all over. Get him, Fosh. I believe in you, buddy. My mans, Mr. Fosh. Mr. Fosh out here. Making the plays. The Leo also making the plays here. Wow. That was not the play, boys. That was that was most certainly not the plays. That was the, the first class plays to throwing my damage away. We low-key could lose this still, so we could high key, we could very easily lose this, I mean. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. This is the safest position for me. Because I can cover myself from the Leo and the Fosh from here. And they, they won't be able to just both instant push on me for free. If the Leo tries to flank around, that's fine. Okay. Now here's the, here's the real problem. Of course, he hits my ammo rack. Now here's the real problem, boys. The real problem is we have a Sheridan and a, and a mill coming in for us from some side of the map. But the real question is, though, from which side are they coming in from? So it would not appear they're coming in from that side at all. If I could have made it to corner, that would have been pretty clutch here. Maybe we can bait the Leo out a little bit. Of course he high rolls me there. Dude. Ah, uh, baby, I should have just full-on retreated to the corner there. What what on earth was that team? Ay ay ay. Boys, boys, boys. Okay. I get that our I I should have helped him in a tar out faster. How the heck did our VK90 die though? And how did everyone else die on the flank? What were they facing? A Leo, a Sheridan, and an Amil? Was that it? I don't I I I'm no wait, the Leo was on us. I'm genuinely confused how our allies lost the flank. Good tank, but not crazy. And that's exactly why it's a good tank, but not crazy. I guarantee if I was in the med, easily could have pulled a W out of that game. Just because I could have relocated very quickly. The problem there was just my absolute reliance on my teammates, which is another reason why I do not like armor dependent tank tank destroyers very much. Someone who missed about an hour and a half of the stream. What's the general consensus on the XM? 
Good, good gun for the most part. Nothing like super exceptional, but the gun, the gun does its job pretty well and it can farm in the right scenarios. Armor is troll, but honestly, I found the armor to be more of a disappointment than an actual, like something to be happy about. Like, oh yay, this, the, yeah, look how good this armor is. It's insane. I've, I found myself more disappointed in the armor than actually like feeling it's good. I honestly, I think I would have preferred if this tank just had less armor and like 4k DPM or something. I think that would have made it a much more interesting TD than this kind of wonky, wonky hybrid because it's, I don't know. It's just really annoying when everyone can just pen the front of your mantlet on a tank and you're not. Beep, 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 beep. Nice mechanics, Wargaming. Ni ni nice, nice mechanics, Wargaming. Thank you. Wow. Amazing. This is uh, this is what I've always wanted. Wow. See, this is why I do not do as well in games when I'm streaming versus not streaming. Because I get distracted looking or reading chat and literally will drive myself off a bridge. Insane. Anyways, what was I going to say? Yeah, no, it's it's a fine tank. It is. And some people may really, really like its playstyle. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. It just, uh, it, it kind of misses a few too many marks for me to really, really enjoy the tank all that much. Oh, and now our dude is busy getting himself yeeted. Amazing. Well, not as hard as that dude, though. That dude just straight up deleted himself. Still, we have a 268 in the corner, at least. Hmm. Which one was on the cap is the real important question. Ah. Uh, so that's the one that was on the cap. Nice. Okay. P7. Snapshot. Nice. That's important. Maybe, just maybe, me and the VK can make a bit of a counter push on this 57 here. The Hobry is going to definitely be looking for shots on us, that's for sure. All right. And, uh, oh, you know what? Okay. So sometimes you can get lucky and bounce a few shots. Amazing. Of course, dude. Of course, the Yo's just allowed the bush in for free on our side there. L look at that. All of your HP's gone, just like that. This is the true XM experience. Am I right? What the heck is shooting me from the side? It's not the Hori or the Yo. I like how, like, completely just tunnel visioned this homie is over here. Yep. Talk about a tunnel vision Andy if I've ever seen one. Dude, how tunnel visioned can you be to not notice the yo yoloing up behind you? Like, come on, man. This dude just had to push in and help me here. We literally could have killed off this man. Yeah, this game's over. I, I've been playing this tank for an hour and a half. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest. I'm not really vibing with the XM. It's just not my cup of tea. I think it definitely, like we had quite a few very good games. It can farm really, really well, but it's just way, way too situational for my, for my liking. If I'm honest with you, I think. Where's the auction? Where's the auction at? Isn't it supposed to be on this home tab? Is this the auction? Nope. Wheel subscription. Nope. Uh, I just hate tanks that are super reliant on their teammates. And the XM just feels like an absolute sludge fest of a team reliant vehicle. Falling prices. Okay. What's in the auction right now? M60. That tank is good. Recommend. Uh, Badger, not really. It's kind of like an XM, to be honest. Not TL7. I can't say anything about the tier 8s, really. Wow, is that all they have in the auction right now? Interesting. M60 is great, though. M60, if it, like... I don't even know if the M60 is still available in the auction. I would... If you're going to spend gold on this Christmas event, like, sure, get yourself some snow globes if, if you want, because the chance of you getting the XM is still incredibly low. Um... 
but for instance i i generally think if you can aff afford it learning to play vehicles that are a little more versatile in the long run is just a much better investment excellent like most tds are team reliant not i mean true but like you have tds like the e4 which well, i mean the e4 is one of the best but, like the e4 is really good the Yag's team reliant but the Yag, honestly it hits so hard it, and its armor is so like darn good it compensates for it heavily I just do not like how inconsistent the the uh, the armor profile feels on the XM for my liking. Anyways, M60 auction tank. If if I were you and you were looking to get a premium tank from Blitz right now, I don't know if the M60 is still available. It might have already sold out. I would 100% recommend something like the M60 instead, because these medium tanks are going to get you way further than uh, any old tank destroyer will. And I hope this game can kind of demonstrate that. I'm a bit worried about that 183 and Badger and Yo pushing in on me, but there's the 183. Okay, 183's already ricocheted off of me here. Badger's from the rear. Let's see, fire two shots, please. Thank you. Okay, here's what we're gonna do now. Oh, nice. Our 57's actually going for quite a quite a bit of the flank here. So let's see if we can track this Badger, ram him a little bit too, make him a one shot. Nice work, 57. That was a good rotation on your part. Let me help you out a little bit here. All right. This is, dude, DPM and mobility. You see how it just helps you counter any scenario that you need it to? Oh, boy. Please don't block Please don't block me. Oh, dear. That's a one one coming back in for me now. Good job, 57. I know you've been a bit of a meat shield this game, but you played well there. You played well there, buddy. You played real well there. All right. Another shot. Oh man, I love meds so much. Like, you get me in a medium tank and I feel so much happier. So much happier. It's it's not, it's not it's kind of crazy just how much happier I am the moment I'm in a medium tank. All right, girl, I have faith in you, buddy. Don't let him kill me. Nice. One more shot. Come on, boys. Good stuff. That's almost 5,000 damage, right? M60, great. <laughs> I'm so much happier in meds. It's not even funny. Oh, I, I like the gameplay is a lot more intense, a lot more interesting. You can see why, like, being able to just move around a whole bunch of that game was able to help me there. Luckily, I had the 57 as a meat shield. I'm sorry, buddy, you'd had to die, but you did a great job there. 5,000 damage, three kills. Like, yeah. M60 is a great one, man. M60, is, is it still, like, can you guys let me know, is it still in the auction right now? Like, is it not sold out? Dude, that was the 140. Uh-huh. Only tank in auction remaining right now, I think, is M60 and Shark? No way! The Badger sold out before the M60. For 10k gold, dude, 10k gold M60? It's a good price. Oh, it's raining. Huh. It's a, it's a great price. Yeah. So... If you're if you want a really versatile tier 10 med, you can't go wrong with an M60. I I personally think. I I, I if I had 10k gold to spend, I would choose an M60 over an XM. Just saying. Just, just throwing it out there. There are a lot of other great tier 10 vehicles. Um, I think. Oh, right. Once it one has PBR. Look how pretty it is. L L Loki, let's take the one to one for a spin. Real quick. No, I don't think it will. What will? Which one sold out? Oh, the M60? No. If it did, feels bad, man. Sold for 10k gold. It's sold out now. Dang, that's a rip. That is a rip if you didn't get it, man. Because the M60 is so solid. Honestly. Like, you don't even need to play Baton anymore. Baton's great, though. I, I still like the Baton, but you don't need to play it. Um, I forgot. This thing got PBR. I don't know if I've played it since it got PBR. It looks pretty. One to one's a pretty cool med. I wouldn't rank it too highly. I don't know if it's going to be in the auction. It probably will be. I think it usually is in the auction at, one, at some point. Uh, I would probably choose other vehicles over the one to one but it, it still has some very solid things going for it, right? All right. Penetration is not one of them, by the way. That, that's that's definitely not one of the solid things I was going for. This tank has lackluster penetration, but it does have a really accurate gun. Loki, the gun feels sometimes more accurate than the, uh, the M60s, but I think it's also... Actually, it might actually have better dispersion than the M60. Maybe Loki. Is this dude running gun depression equipment on a Type 71? I respect it. Oh, yeah. Look at this gun go, boys. Look at this gun go. Oh, another heat shell. 
Showing this Type 71 who's the boss. Guess what? I'm the boss, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Know your place, Rat 71. Ah! Don't get too cocky, guys. Don't get too cocky. You see that karma? That's what karma looks like. Watch, I'm gonna get Amarak now. <laughs> Not Amarak necessarily, but thankfully the Type 71 does have a pretty long reload. There we go. Another he's shown through his hatch there. These poor Rat 71s, man. All right, where you at, buddy? No, where, where are you blocking my shots? There you go, buddy. Good stuff. All right, all right, all right. This dude is getting Omegler crossfired out. I'm going for the 100 to shoot. Nice, the 100 just fired his gun. Good stuff. I'm actually going to focus the 100 out here because the type is kind of stuck in the open, but I'm more worried about the 100 to be honest. So let's flank him, speed boost. Yeah, boy, 121's a good tank. Honestly, the 121B is a very good vehicle. It's it's mobility, it's kind of armor profile, and it's it's solid DPM. It helps out a whole lot to make it quite a fun tank to play. I don't play too often, but I remember I got about 3.8k average or so in it when I played it, and that's that was before I got any kind of buffs, so that's always kind of a W, right? All right, all right, all right, all right. You know what? I'm going to ignore the grill. I'm going to show him who's the boss with my side scrape. Do you see this impressive 10 out of 10 side scrape here, buddy? Yeah, that's right. Alrighty. This is a GG. This is a straight GG. More track shots. Saucy. Now we have a slow Minerato on the flank. Poor dude. He's, he's getting flanked. He is not long for this world. Farewell, friend. <laughs> Once again, 4,600-ish damage, right? I, I, I love meds. I love meds so much. Hey, Sheriff, hope you're doing great. Have you already considered doing a hand camera stream for us to see your tablet? Hand camera, eh? <laughs> Here you go. The hand cam. That's $20 an hour. <laughs> wow, 171,000 credits because that's an ace. 4.6k damage. Another great one. I'll probably play the auction tanks once the auction updates. Usually the auction shows up on the home screen, though. I'm, I don't know why it's not showing up, so I can't keep dibs. But I'll try and keep track on it and do some more auction tank streams when the time is ripe. 907 is also a pretty solid one that may be placed in the auction. Uh, what else would be decent that I have on this account? STRVK, I wouldn't really recommend. Carol's good. If, if it is an auction, 114 SP probably won't be. That one was just sold recently. Super Conqueror and Chieftain are both all right choices. 777, I don't think it's going to be there. VK90 is good. Confines of 50T is decent. Uh, concepts are okay, but honestly, I don't really play it all that much. M4 is eh. Amex 3DB. Oh, my favorite. My baby. Okay. Wait, what was I going to play? You know, I haven't played this tank yet, I think, since it got buffed. We, we might have to take the WZ Light for a spin sometime. That's for sure. Um... Is that it? Like, like, what else is in the store? So, you know, I already played for an hour and a half of XM gameplay. I got a good feeling for the tank, and I think I was able to kind of explain and show what the tank does good and what the tank does not do so well in. Um, okay, 777's in store. KPZ50 is in store. I, 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 I see how it is. And a bunch of diabolical tier 8s that no one cares about. I see. Okay. Well, we're going to end this in the good old-fashioned way. We at least got to get some 1A3 gameplay in. Maybe I can even stream a little longer because I don't have studies right now. Mm. Yeah. Fattest auction, auction is in the Seasons tab. Oh, I see. Who's going to tell him? Swipe on the Season 2 Constellation one. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I, I haven't touched this game much recently. Clearly, it is getting to my brain. You see the season two things five and the there. You, okay, thank you. I really appreciate that. See what 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 would I do without you guys helping me out? I I would still be lost, crying about how I could no longer see the auction tab. <laughs> the KPZ seven R H is really fun. Is that in stores right now? I don't know. I I'll have to see what what the, what the next set of auction tanks are. Maybe I'll maybe I can stream some of them. We can do some auction tank breakdowns. Figure out what's the best vehicles for you to get. M60 was good though, man. M60 is always great. You really can't go wrong with that tank. Okay. Time to punish some fools. Come here. Okay. Victim number one. Numo uno. 1009? Dude, that's, f that's like 60 less than my AP alpha damage. 
That's Hesh. That's what Hesh does now. That's insane, actually. Wait, how did I get spooted? Oh, I see. So that's how I got spooted. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Do we believe? Regardless, I'm gonna pull through so I don't get I don't get crossfired out from behind. I don't think the waffle's gonna be in the game much longer anyways. No, I should have saved my shot. Could have nuked the two and five B here. No. Oh wait, did I splash him or did someone else shoot at him? I can't tell anymore. Hmm, does he know I'm here? No, but someone else must be spotted near me. I'll just kind of keep the, the mouse at bay for now. I think the 2 and 5 B is now on cap. STB is on the flank probably. Somewhere to spawn. I'm not STB necessarily. Oh, please, standard HE. Bro. It does be that way sometimes. It's a Leo in our spawn. Man, that's annoying. I could have got a standard HG into his side. That could have done mega damage. But the 183 just ain't snapshotty like that, you know? Okay, we're sending too many people over here. I think it's a waste of resources. Or maybe not. Maybe big time not, actually. He's gonna yolo into a Hori as well as a standard B. Standard B boop bop bop. Alright. Hello, Mr. 263. 966 damage into you, good sir. Careful, standard B, you're about to die, buddy. Leo's rotating out, okay. Well, let's try and help our 140 on this mouse then. Oh, don't mind if I do, buddy. <laughs> Easy claps. Okay, we're still down on caps though. That could be a problem. 2.8k damage dealt. Not bad. 183 doing his 183 things. We don't we don't snipe in 183s around here, boys. No, no. That's a big no-no in our books. Frontline only. Sniping is for the uncultured people. Well, unless an opportunity like this... Yeah, unless you get an opportunity like that, in which case it's perfect. <laughs> Mind you, chasing around a Leo is a bad idea. 183 is doing good work, though. I think... I personally think Leo's gonna be on a rise somewhere. Personally. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. He's back there. Oh, please pull back. Please make a break for it, buddy. Please, please, please. A little bit further. Just, just a little bit further. I believe in you. I believe in you, buddy. I believe... No. What are you doing? Yes, that's... No! <laughs> I went a little too low. I'm so mad. My vibe. My vibe. <laughs> It's okay. We did 3.7, right? Or almost 4k-ish. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe pop that. Oh, nope. Too late. <laughs> Maybe I should have popped adrenaline. <laughs> Dang, they are expensive. Thanks for playing, everyone. <laughs> How's the 777? 777's great. Not really my play style, but undeniably one of the top, top tier heavy tanks you can get right now in tier 10. Hey, right, I'll take it. I'll take it. 3.7. We die. Okay, let, let, let's see. Seasonal auction. Why did they stick it there? That's like the most discreet area. M60, FV217 Badger, I'd recommend the M60, TL7, no, T2065, haven't played, Turtle Mark 1 is fun, but not worth getting, Type 62, eh. Bizante C45, that one I think is a Seal Clubber's dream. Not a bad tank, SC130 I like, but most people choose the Scorpion, T5042 is also pretty good. Shkoda T27 can be memes, but not really recommended. Um, Kanon and Jagdpanzer, probably not. Okay, so this is what we got for this round of auction. I see. Not bad. Definitely not 244, uh, 85. I see how it is. Okay. It's not, it's, it's not, it's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. Okay. All right, lads. What do we do? 99.99 for six. That's very expensive. I think I spent 76k gold to get my T10, my 10 globes. Opening gold boxes. Should I, should I open some gold boxes? Should I? Should we, should we open some gold boxes? I'm not going to. Give me a moment to log into my account, all right? G give me a moment. Give me a moment. Um, I'm not going to spend too much because I low-key already spent like 15k gold on those boxes. But maybe maybe we'll get lucky, right? We'll see. I, I don't really care on my account. I have most tanks that I want and I'm happy with. So I'll spend a little bit of gold. <laughs> give me a moment. Give me a moment. Ah! Wrong password. All right. Typed in the wrong one.
I have a very long password. <laughs> if I get it wrong once, it's really annoying. Gamble. Play the auction tanks. Hmm. Let's reach that 200 like mark while we're at it so we can gamble. Uh, so you can help my gamble RNG. Why not? Why not? Oh, it's getting kind of it's getting kind of dark in here. Let's turn up the lights a bit. There we go. My face is not quite so dark. All right, we we degen gambling streamer. <laughs> yes, yes. See, look on this one. It, oh, because it goes back and forth. That's why I was like. I didn't see the little count. Apparently, every time I looked at it, it was the season two constellation, and I didn't realize it was the auction. That's funny. Okay. Um, not too much gold. Not too much. We'll try and get one snow globe, okay? We'll see. I don't want to spend too much gold on this, to be honest. Oh, did we get one? Nope. There to get though. That's cool. All right. Let's see, uh, let's see if I get lucky or unlucky. No, it's not gonna be one either. You, you can always tell, kinda low-key. Oh, this one's free. Come on, be my free. Give me, give me one glove. Ooh. Oh, a million credits. <laughs> yes, sir. I needed those credits. As you can see, we're getting even closer to one mil one billion three hundred million credits on the account. Let's go. Okay. So far, no luck, guys. So far, no luck. <laughs> Fatness, you adorable dumb ass. <laughs> hey, yo. Who are you calling an adorable dummy? Shaking my head. No Christmas one here either. Snow gun, wow. This is expensive. This is real expensive, man. Nope, not on this one either. Yeah, this is why I legitimately do not recommend gambling for the XM and instead just buying yourself some decent tanks from the auction because like straight up, this is what you get to deal with. Mind you, I've never been lucky when it came to crates. <laughs> he was all he was all alternating XP boxes and gold boxes. You know, I actually got one from an XP box. I was so lucky. Anyways, that's like seven crates open now, right? Seven, seven, eight boxes already opened. Nothing yet. Let's we'll go to 50k gold, maybe. Maybe 50k gold. Where are the poles? I know! It's Chover! No! <laughs> what is this? How many boxes? See, this is why I never, like, commit to the Christmas event. Luckily, I have enough gold right now where I don't want throwing some away, but, like, look at how much I'm getting scammed. Now, imagine you have to get 10 of these in order to get the XM. Because, like, you rarely will get the XM just through the regular poles because its drop rate is so low. It's what? Uh, under information, it's 1.83% for the XM, or is it slightly higher? Where, where's the XM? We have Caro, SDRV, MX, KPZ, XM, yo. Not even 1.83, it's 0.92%. So that's like 0. 0. 0.0092. Yeah. That's how low your drop, your percentage of drop rate is for this, for this type of event. So you basically have to get 10 crates. You basically have to get 10, right? Cause I mean, wow, that, that, I love getting scammed. I hope this is good positive, positive reinforcement on why the Christmas event sucks. <laughs> oh, I got one, finally. About time. You can always tell because you get way less rewards when you get one usually. Okay. All right. Ugh. We spent like 20,000 gold for a single box. What do I want from this? Do not want the SDRVK. I'm not interested in the M4. I'm not interested in the XM. 114 is okay. I'm not interested in the 452K. Skoda T27's aight, but I wouldn't play it. Tornwagen, Samoa. Oh. This is such a waste. I really... The 907 is not in the box? What? No 907? Huh? Oh, 752 might not be so bad. Well, let's see. Wish me luck, guys. Time to get a smasher. Let's see if I get scammed. 
I will get the game. Actually, I'd prefer if I just got a tier 10 tank already on so I can get my gold back. Some of my gold got gold back. Oh my god. I already have that tank. Russian disaster gifted it to me on my birthday. No. <laughs> At least I got some gold back. <laughs> Scam likely incoming. Yep. Yep. So I spent how much gold to get 6,000 gold back? I spent like 20,000 gold to get 6k gold back. Don't you love it? Don't, don't, don't you just love it? Oh, Panky the snowman. Amazing. Wow. Uh, I guess on principle. You know what? The TL7120 TL is actually in auction right now so we'll play one game in it and then we'll call quits yeah yeah why don't we do that why don't we do it why don't we showcase this s tier tier 9 american heavy tank that i got okay which i already had because it was gifted to me like earlier this year <laughs> this part you could still you could uh, have spent 8.5k gold in the auction and lost less gold exactly this is where we re re reinvest 6k to spend even more but you don't you don't you don't understand, Star. I don't really want any of the tanks in the auction right now. It's not really worth me spending gold on. It's just a waste at this point. I'd rather save up for some interesting new vehicles in the future. Anyways, look at the saucy TL7120. In case you are ever unable to remember what caliber gun you have on this tank, it is a 120. It's in the name. And no, it's not tier 7. It's misleading, right? TL7, but nah, it's 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 tier nine. All right, hello. Well, that's a great start. What is this reverse speed? What is this armor profile? Oh dear, man. Okay. At least the gun is okay. Accuracy is not it, but I mean, at least it has a um. A decent amount of alpha. Well, it's a tier 9 heavy, actually. 400 alpha is about average. We're doing okay. Okay, I'm safe from the Waffenträger as well. That's good to know. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, this tank's actually not too bad. Thank you, Russian Disaster, by the way, for gifting me this tank earlier this year. Um, I think I'm pretty okay here. Big shot to this man's. We do have to watch out for the WZ and the E75 and... And all those Pepe Andes. Oh, bad shot by me. Oh, E75, you're such a, you're such a little, such a little Pepe Andy. I hope you know that. This dude's gonna be a bit of a Pepe Andy as well. Am I getting a membership spam? Yes, I am. Well, not spam, but thank you so much, Naughty. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see how many membership members you just gifted. It was 20. Thank you very much, Naughty, for the 20 gifted members. I really do appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Okay, okay. This tank has terrible... This tank has lobotomized reverse speed. We're getting out of here. Please don't catch me on fire when you when you, when you, when you look this way. Okay. We are somewhat safe here. 2200 assists, though. It's not, it's not too bad, to be honest. Oh, that's not good. Well, not good for him, that is. Oh, brother. Oh my gosh, she's just gonna pull up and bend me. No, you you don't you don't you don't pen those, okay, buddy? You don't you don't pen those, alright? You you do pen those. You very much do pen those. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, this tank's reverse speed is killing me. Holy smokes. This is some next level trash tier reverse speed. Like, oh my gosh, look how slow it is in reverse. Thank heavens, my allies are coming through. We do have to get capped though soon. The gun's okay. The gun's actually okay. We're at almost 3,000 damage here. I should out-reload this dude, too. So, someone needs to get ready to re reset cap. I don't know who's on the cap, but we definitely gotta get ready to start resetting that stuff. Come here, Mr. Capper. It is time to die. Well, maybe not die, but yep, time to get reset. Good stuff, man. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? No way. This dude's sending it. He's about to get HE'd up the back, too. Why, why did he pull forward? Uh, just pull forward a little more. Give me one more shot here, buddy. Be, be a queen. Thank you. 
<laughs> uh, honestly? I... I'm not... It's okay. But the reverse speed... The reverse speed... Ain't it, Chief? Oh, you made a lot of credits, though, from that. I'll take it. The reverse speed definitely ain't it. But it's not bad. It, it, it's not too bad. With that assist, <laughs> Fanis might as well use the TL7 as a scout. Dude, yeah, how much spotting did I have that game? Three, th 4,000 assist, bruh. 4K assistance because my whole team was sniping. So that's why I got almost 1,500 base XP on, on the on the 3,400 damage game. Brother out here with the insane assist. Yeah, all right, uh, that's the TL on seven. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, ain't it? Ain't it? Uh, what, where do we end it off? Where do we end it off? Where do we end it off? Hmm. I think we already had our 1A3 game. Can't play test tanks, so don't even ask. Uh, hmm. What, what should we play for last? Nadi, why don't you make a request? Because you just you just gave me 20 members. I appreciate that. So why don't you make a, a, make a, a last battle request, shall you? Let's get the sauce. Let's get the sauce going. And hopefully I'll be streaming a little bit more regularly for the next somewhat rocky future. I, I plan on streaming a little more. Well, for the SP2 any good? Eh, not really. VK72 is straight up better. VK72 is straight up better. <laughs> Ended up getting, uh, even though I've quit the game. Mm, yeah, I'm not, I would say I'm not a huge fan of the 114 from what I've experienced in it at least. <laughs> Fast tank, please. We're waiting. We're waiting for your request, Naughty. Better not be a tank. I'm trying to preserve my stats in. Or we're changing accounts. <laughs> Let's see. I like how we're still getting the ding sound. It's great. Love how they butcher the tanks. Yeah, it's crazy. Naughty, did you make your choice? <laughs> Play the, also play the Caliban, bruh. I in the game mode or just like pubs, straight up. <laughs> Caliban, do we play it in boss mode or pubs? Naughty, quickly tell me, boss mode or pubs? Caliban game, which will it be? Make your choice. <laughs> Choose whether I will suffer and lose 30 days statistics or if I will get the W boss mode experience. I let's let's see. Let's see. Either. No, that makes it harder for me because then I have to I have to decide. Okay. Since the Caliban's a meme tank, we're going boss. We're going boss. Straight up. Alright. Focus on your live stream and let YouTube insert ads for you. You know, that's one thing I've noticed. YouTube keeps pressuring me to, to like, set up auto-insert advertisements. Like, why would we want to do that on a live stream? Once you guys fall behind, you fall behind, you know? I mean, you could always skip forward, but then you're missing all the content. I don't know why YouTube's trying to, like, always trying to push me to, like, turn on auto ads in placement. Basically, it just means at random during the stream, advertisements will just start playing instead of when you join the stream. I personally have kept it off because I think that kind of ruins the viewing experience a little bit. Yeah, I'm losing a little bit of money because of that, but, like, it, it's marginal. It's pretty marginal. It's YouTube ads. You have to be getting, like, hundreds of thousands of views for it to really matter, but it's kind of annoying that it keeps, t it keeps trying to force me into turning it on. Well, not force, but it's like constantly popping up notifications like, oh, by the way. Hey, buddy. You want to get pulled out? No. Ooh, wait, I can't pin that. That's spaced armor. Oh, my gosh. Bro, what is my team doing, dude? They're not even covering the flank. That's insane. Okay. Oh, no. My whole team is stuck here. I don't really want to be a gravity dude without a platoon mate to help me out. For some reason, I thought the 35 TS had space sidearm or the turret, so I wasn't shooting. I forgot. It's not the turret, though, that's spaced on that tank. It's the hull. 
Oh my gosh. Did you see how high that shell arced? And also look at this dude just hardcore tunneling just for me. Bird ass, why don't you clear him out? That'll be super helpful for the team, buddy. Here's the plan. I think here, I think here, here might do the trick. Yes, it does. Well, 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 well. Oh yeah, 930 damage. Let's go. Let's see if we can do it again, boys. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, they're flying. Yeah, boy. Oh, that's a lot of bombers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. One of them fell. One of them fell down. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Our boss just launched this dude. Oh, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Oh my. Oh, he just got full health. Oh, and he just died. Actually, gravity is insane. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't really want gravity in this tank, but you know what, I take it back. Uh, actually, yeah, maybe not. Uh, the gun handling is causing me to lose a little bit of sanity here. Whee! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lift up the boss again, I think. That sounds like a good old time, to be honest. This time, however, okay. Actually, we can still put it up there, maybe. All right, TI-5, time for you to go flying, buddy. Man, stop moving. What? No way. Scammed. Nari with the 20 members. Oh my lord. Thank you, Nari, for the gifted subs. And now we get to be serenaded for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Pog. Peak fiction. Well, Splash is underside. Aight, that works. Come on, kill him, boys. Kill him, boys. It is right. Show him who's the Bausch. Oh, he's healing himself. Look at this VK100, dude. Holy, this tank is painful to play, Loki. This tank is very painful to play. In a, in a game mode like this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, 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 yes. Up here. Up you go, boys. Up you go. Up you go. <laughs> That's right. There you go. Take some damage, buddy. And up you go as well. Again. Again. Nope. You do not get to push me. You get to fly up again. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Actually, gravity is so toxic. It is. It is the most toxic. You, you take reduced damage. You deal insane amounts of yoke damage because, you know, why not? Okay, I'll take it. 725 max roll. We're at 3k damage so far, which is not a whole lot. But, you know, we've been trolling with gravity, so I'm fine with it. Okay, Bomber WZ coming in from the right here. <laughs> Yo, if if Naughty gifted you a membership, don't forget to say thank you to Naughty in chat. Because that's that's massive massive W in the chat if Naughty gifted if done done gifted you a membership. Okay. Let me think about this. Oh, back up a little more, baby. Do it. Come on. No, he's not doing it. He's he's he's, he's not cool like that. He's not cool like that. Alright, TF5, you like to fly? I know TI5s love flying. There you go. Take 800 to the face. Oh no. This is my demise. This is very much my demise. If it's not poison, it's the TI-5. Farewell, friends. I'm dead to poison. Oh, I did my best. Now I got healer. No. Woo, great names, dude. There's so few great names in chat now. Naughty's insane with it. All right, all right. I don't want to be a healer. I know. Call me a trash game mode player. I really don't want to be a healer. So we're gonna go, we're gonna pull up to this dude, point blank drive by him, all right? We're gonna start healing our allies while we're at it. What's good? Honestly, Caliban as a bomber would be kind of insane, probably. Wow, that was very rude of you, boss. Bro, who's healing me? Yoink! 968! Get, get, get trolled on, buddy. Get trolled on. Get trolled on. Get trolled on. Oh, I got trolled on. Get him. Nice. That's, let's go. That's, a, that's, that's how we do it, boys. That's how we do it. All right, I need to kill the boss's medic. All right, you know what? Oh, you know, we're in it for the damage for sure. Yeah. Oh, we got poison. Let's go. <laughs> the dispersion sucks. You don't say. Sad they won't let me send individually, individual memberships. Oh, like to individual people. That'd be cool if they did, Loki. All right, I need to wait for this dude to stop using his heal. So now. I think now. Oh, no, he still had his heal active. Silly play by me. 
Still, now I actually have decent gun handling on this tank. This is not a W, guys. Isn't that a massive W? All right. Poison Caliban's where it's at. The gun works now. Let's go. Oh, can we just kill their boss again? Oh, we're about to kill our boss again. Wait, that's insane. Their boss is having a miserable time with it. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. I'm gonna poke you now. Yeah, you just keep sitting there staring into Narnia, buddy. Oh, wait, they only have three lives left. Brother. Oh, 1,200, dude! Look at that! That's insane! Oh, yes, Poison Caliban is where it's at, my dudes. Straight up. No, we just capped out. No. <laughs> Alderim, the dispersion sucks. Yes. You gotta be active in chat. YouTube algorithm looks for active accounts when choosing. Probably. 9.5k damage in the Caliban. Not too bad. Our boss did a good job. Good job, boss. He didn't suck. Uh, enemies Boston did quite a small. Hey, we did top two in a tier nine matchup. Hey, there's only one tier nine on each team. Wow, those two nines were incredible. Oh, no, there's two. All right, all right, Naughty, that's your Caliban. Caliban to go, right? Well, since I'm still getting stream notifications, we may as well play one more. <laughs> because, uh, I don't, yeah, I'm still getting notified of who's getting a membership, so. <laughs> YouTube in general can send, uh, can sad to be fair. Can sad, yes. So why does Jen... <laughs> oh my gosh, Sergio Garcia's. What's wrong with you, dude? What's wrong with you? You want to get muted? Event? Oh gosh, I'm the boss. That's not good. I only have 25 rounds of ammo. Yo, Jen. I'm genuinely curious. Why do so many people, like, absolutely just despise you? I need to know this, Jen. I need to know this. Because I swear, there's always that random NPC in chat who just gets mad at you for absolutely no reason. All you do is just pop in, say something about a tank or something like that. A couple words here and there. That's it. <laughs> nice boss, Caliban. Bro, I need explanations, Jed. How have you hurt these people? How did you hurt them? Maybe you, maybe you gamed on them in pubs? Maybe that's what happened. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Goodbye. Only 1100 as a boss? That was not much damage, dude. That was not too much damage there, if I say so myself. Oh, it's a grave digger. Well, hello. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about there, brother. You mind? You mind about being such a little rat with the gravities? It ain't cool. It really ain't cool. Oh, hi. Wow, scammed. Still waiting for my super shot to load in. Caliban boss is kind of the biggest rip though that I could have had this game. Not gonna lie. All right, I need to get their gravity piggies. Oh Lord, I've been a piggy. Oh, because his gravity has reduced damage like only 800? Brother. Okay, their boss is kind of free roaming this side. I need to see if I can get back and help him out a little bit here. This dude wants to this dude wants to get yeeted again. So I will deliver. Uh my teammates need help on the flank though. I can't I can't afford to sit here all game. That is a bit diabolical if I'm out of the fight the whole time. So let me back up here. Start cross firing out these lads. Ooh. That's a thousand damage into this dude. I'm down to nine HE now. Could be worse though. We're, we're doing all right. You know, all things considered, your boy's not doing half bad here. All right. What? No, nah, that's a scam. Straight up. Dude. This is why I hate when allies gravity tanks like on top of them instead of just gravitating them elsewhere. Okay, it's another thousand damage. We're doing all right. Problem is I'm probably gonna run out of ammo. Their boss is already dying. That's 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 an L for their team. I'm sure someone's gonna be coming back for me eventually. Oh, it's our good friend here. Apparently he didn't get enough damage earlier. Nice, I'd rather save my kickback for later. 
Hmm. We're down to six HE shells. We're doing all right, though. All things considered. Should we just YOLO in on their boss? Like, I'm a little hesitant to YOLO in, but Loki maybe not a bad idea. Yes, yes, yes. Poke me, buddy. Ah. Uh, he's a Pepega Andy. He didn't want to poke me. Oh, wow. Look who it is. It's our friend, Sheer Jacques the <laughs> Third. He is not having a good fr he's not having a good time. Goodbye, Jacques. It was nice knowing you. Oh no, I'm being gravitated, whatever will I do. Bro, this is like the chillest game I've ever had in the Caliban. Just sitting here, enjoying life, drinking some coffee, you know? This is peak fiction. <laughs> Alright, maybe we can use AP this time. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. RNG said, no, you shall not do damage. Wait, my team is dying in spawn. Oh, low key. Low key. I got to go back and help my team clear spawn. We were not big braiding, boys. We were not big braiding. The Caliban must, uh, must deliver justice to our spawn. <laughs> help kill any boss. You are losing life. Yeah, it's fine. Do, do once the enemy boss is down, though, they're going to be like, goodbye to their lives. The problem is my allies apparently suck. At, uh, at killing him here. So let's just mega shot him. I do not have a mega shot apparently. Okay, I need to clear out his medics here. So... There we go. Since I don't have too many itchy left, let's pick up an AP kill on this dude. Nice stuff. We can back up from this dude a little bit as well. Okay. Well, I had to actually get in here and try hard. Would you look at that? Another thousand damage. Where are my medics at, man? There we go. Alright, alright, we're at an okay amount of damage so far. Hello, good sir. You are dead. Very, very saucy indeed. Ooh, it's a Barask. I wonder if we can one tap him with a rack or something. What? Dude, I swear. There's no way that missed. So it's fully aimed in. 16 to 16. Wow, my team is really struggling right now, aren't they? Aim, aim, aim. Nice clear. Clutch, clutch, clutch. We gotta deal with their boss now. 700 splash, at least with my kickback. The kickback does so much more damage to the boss than the other vehicles. It's kind of crazy. Oh, nice. Their boss is throwing. Enemy what? Armor. I'm throwing. Go on, boys. Kill their boss. He's throwing. Now's our opportunity while he's throwing. All right. Nice, a thousand onto him there. Good stuff. Oh, I'm about to get bombed though. No, don't don't hug me. They're about to bomb us. Dude, you are a silly you are a silly creature. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how it's done. Alright. Now to not die. Oh, I am so dead, dude. Dude, where are my medics at? Do we just like have no medics on our team or something? Holy smokes, we actually have no medics. No wonder this game is diabolical. No medic life is, is, is insane. Come on, please, someone be a medic. My whole team is sitting in spawn, man. We were doing all right until everyone started sitting in spawn, and I had to go back and clear out spawn. I'm a bit worried about getting crossfed out from either there or there. I only have 800 HP as well. Thanks for the games. Fat. Thanks for the games, Fatty. Happy, happy holidays. holidays. Thank you, Tony, for the donation. Really appreciate it. And uh, happy holidays to you. Hopefully you have a good holiday season with your with your family and friends. All right. Oh my gosh, dude. I hate, gravi I hate gravity. Loki, it's so annoying when your allies are using it. Almost more annoying than, uh, than regular. Let's track this dude. Nice. I'm fine with that. I wanted to pen him there, but... Dang it. It's so close, I can't afford to die right now. Even though I have, like, no, e no HP and no ammo left. No medics. Come on, medics? Anywhere? My whole team has gravity or a poison. This is so rad. Aim, 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 aim. Nice. Okay, down to two shots. Let's pick up some more kills here. I just gotta stay alive, honestly. That's the biggest thing I can do to help my team out right now. 
Oh. What? Did someone heal the tiger the moment I fired? No way. That is some gap. That is some very uncool. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tiger. Thank you. You're a real one for that. All right, maybe we should just hide, guys. It's it's way too close. If I if I were to die here, it'd be it'd be very sus for our team. It's 30 seconds left. Excuse me, dude, dude. Yeah, yeah. Keep healing me, but also don't don't get me stuck here. Oh gosh, all the medics are on me now. Well, I didn't kill him, but I'll take it. What is happening, dude? This game sucks. I have no ammo. <laughs> At least all the medics are on me. I have 1,500 hit points again. Dude, this is the worst... Like, what is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, this was, uh, like, not allowed <laughs> in game. <laughs> that, my RNG, solid, solid hit for zero damage. Uh, I did okay. 15k damage. Their TS-60 did better than their boss. Like, shout out to their TS-60. Um, I'm kind of surprised we won that. I thought my team was gaming, and then it turned out they were very much not gaming. And then I had to sit back. Yeah, being a Caliban boss is quite literally the worst. It really is. Oh, clouds are breaking up. Looks quite nice out there. Oh, what a game! What an what an insane game. Pro gamers out here. Yeah, yeah, you, you feel? Yeah, 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 feel me? All right. Nope. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's complete some of our missions. Yeah. Oh, 70,000 credits, dude. We're getting so close to the 1.3 billion mark. I'm super excited about it. Oh, wait, one more mission. Oh, daily clan missions too. Let's go. This is insane. This is insane. I. There we go. Well, that's our Caliban gameplay. What camos did I get? Oh, sick. They look terrible. They actually look terrible. <laughs> Whole game on last bread. Dude, how is the Bobby doing? Right. How is the Bobby doing? I think uh, I think two two and a half hours is pretty good for now. I, I need to kind of ease back into streaming after not streaming very much for the last few months. Um, Bobby's doing great. Yeah, Bobby is doing good. I can real quickly show her to you. There's the Bobby. Bobby, say hi. Say hi, Bobby. This is where she sleeps. That's where she sleeps. Here's a mess. Find it. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably gonna be it for for me today. I think it was I think it was a decent stream. I I was on the fence about the XM. I think it it's capable, and I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy it. As for me, gosh, what is with this hair? Uh, it is uh, it dried all weird over the night. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, the x time is capable, but not really my tank, and so I wouldn't recommend gambling too much for it. Also, Bobby. Bobby, come to say hello. And, oh, where are you going now, Bobby? Where are you going now? Can say hi. No? No? Okay, she's not saying hi. Um, but yeah, that's, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you very much, everyone, for dropping by. Everyone who donated, everyone who stayed in chat and moderated, or just showed up, liked that stream, or active in chat. Always appreciate the support and the viewership as always and uh until next time i'll see you later you take care have yourself a good rest of your weekend and happy holidays to everyone peace